So, time has passed. Uh, it was the maintenance guy. Uh, it's been, I think, about an hour, maybe two. It's 12.03 now. Uh, a.m. or p.m., not a.m. And uh, November 9th, 2022. Uh, suffice it to say, um, this is... Uh, I, th I think I was I was saying that it could mean um, a very significant difference and change of attitude and perspective on individuals uh, that are unfortunately um, going through a really rather difficult time in uh, our humanity's existence for them, uh, among others, and um, and while not all of you are, uh, in my view and perspective, um, good people, um, there's no way statistically that's likely, you know, um, th there should still be a decent amount that are, and are, uh, non-harming, non-concerning individuals whom, uh, aren't really allowed an outlet or um, validity to their situation and the genuine um, level of uh, genuine level of um, suffering that they're going through uh, based upon a lack of uh, genuine compassion and understanding and, and some empathy, or at least a little sympathy, uh, for their situation. And uh, a damn strong effort by many to ignore significantly with cognitive dissonance their uh, situation um, and uh, the, the very likely real truth of it um, not being quite so extreme and one-sided as uh, the um, country and society and culture surrounding them uh, tends to uh, make it out to be. Uh, and that's, that's unfortunate. Um, it would be nice to have even more evidence. Uh, there's already a good deal seeming to suggest it is, uh, different than what may have been, uh, seen as, um, the current, uh, perspective, uh, and, everything that goes on with that uh, as well. Um, which, which is a, a, a big deal. Um, and uh, the amount of gaslighting and, and, and encouragement uh, from even within their own group to uh, pursue hatred and intolerance and um, non-acceptance of, of other individuals within... Uh, side of their uh, community, which uh, can be absolutely acceptable and valid, uh, especially from a perspective that uh, it, it, for um, their uh, knowledge happens to suggest that this individual or indi or these individuals or um, harming uh, the community or the perception of the community or at least uh, um, just harming people in general either people within or the children or whatever it happens uh, to end up being but um, 
uh, while I don't call myself a pro-contact or a never-be-around-ever other children, or uh, children actually, not you know, other uh, people like themselves or and or children, um, as that becomes rather an insanely difficult to pull off uh, without sectioning them off into some seemingly bad part of a neighborhood that you shouldn't go to. Which sounds familiar, honestly. So, I don't know, um, in terms of fighting, you know, and, 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 um, which I think would, would be the correct, uh, method, you know, not so much fighting as in, you know, uh, going off and screaming and yelling and, and, and meeting them at their level, uh, no, being, um, a little more intelligent, like the women in black, uh, or my colored minority individuals, or other communities happen to fight and win, uh, some level of tolerance and legitimate power, um, for themselves by, uh, having themselves, um, be uh, attached to corporations and or government um, in such a way that shows provided uh, legitimate benefit and use and uh, increased in this day and age you would go with view time, likes, subscribes, um, consumed and uh, so on items that target or uh, allow for uh, they're uh, opening up into the uh, ecosystem of the market that is uh, there, on, along with the uh, entertainment ecosystem market that is there. Uh, Government-wise, uh, it's a kind of a crapshoot in which uh, clearly... Uh, showing um, while the abuse is real uh, for various uh, politicians and pastors uh, could have been drastically altered and or uh, made entirely uh, different and um, possibly, I cannot say for certain, but I think it would be statistically um, likely that uh, some, or at the very least one, could have been uh, changed into a situation where abuse and trauma was uh, something that did not occur. Either they recognized the signs and they were able to uh, get out of the situation uh, before it became um, that uh, type of um, you know abusive traumatic experience, or uh, that um, they they weren't um, as naive or inexperienced and uh, taken advantage of as uh, they were previously, which is uh, you know hard thing to say and hard thing to uh, fully. Um, ascertain uh, the the likelihood of of that, but it it must be statistically likely. Um, even if people don't really want to, to validate or say that it has merit when they say that, um, it should it should absolutely have merit. Um, that's just a person that hates you so much that they're unwilling to uh, view it from a, a different perspective. That is contrary. Um, and it's speculative, of course, but uh, again, it, it's, it's more of a over, let's say millennials were the, the new ones that got taught this and, and stopped with Gen X. The, you know, blaming, shaming, and, and all the rest of it. 
uh, I would see a remarkably significant difference between um, our generation and now in our generation um, of these individuals that got taught communication skills, emotional understanding of themselves and others, emotional regulation skills uh, about uh, sex and you know how to have it and be safe about it, but also the very real positives and negatives that are associated physically, mentally, and emotionally that can be very much there and uh, you know um, how best to help them uh, examine their own emotions for pursuing or not pursuing uh, and pushing past their urges and or desires or lack of uh, should that be the, the thing they, they want to do and uh, set the boundaries up accordingly with the individuals uh, involved. Um, in the situation either being other children, older teens, or uh, possibly adults um, that are added into that equation. Um, which is, is, is a difficult thing to, to state. Uh, it's not exactly a perfect, you know, like, thing. While these are tried and true methods, and uh, some are obviously very good, not every single one can be used by everyone, and, you know, learning the different methods and techniques and all the rest of it that goes on, and continuing practice, just like brushing your teeth, or going to the restroom before your bed, or um, not eating too much at night so you get a good night's sleep, stuff like this. You know, basic basic routine things, like you, you practice and, and, you, and you get better at it. Um, and they become more um, viable and uh, actually help a lot more over time. And which is a, a thing that is um, a big deal in therapy and, and treatment in general for anyone suffering from any kind of uh, emotional instability, regardless of age. So, uh, I do believe that they would be able to benefit from it, and um, certainly not a problem, realistically, uh, with them doing this and learning how and what it means, and when they feel in their minds, when they feel as though it is acceptable or not to consent not based upon someone else and their uh, possibly grooming manipulative bias added into their feelings of it being a right or not a right or acceptable or not acceptable and may uh, be confused with their emotions being such that they want to try and are okay, but the uh, adults or whatever um, basically said, no, it's never all right, never okay, which is unlikely to be the case statistically anywhere on this planet. It's just not how it works. So, some one or multiple, really, for being honest, are likely to um, have a level of, even if power dynamics and more are involved, feelings in perspective that for their feelings in perspective and their understanding is in the child, not the adult, um, felt okay to uh, pursue a sexual activity with an adult or another child or teen um, and that they understood their emotions and the consequences and the possibilities of, you know, all the rest of it that might or might not happen uh, as best as they were hopefully not 
grossly, negligently, and abusively fear-mongered into believing was uh, something that was like with abstinence-only uh, tuition going on at schools um, involving the virginity of most often females being placed in an extremely high guard, regard, or value, and in fact, in fact, pretty much their only value, and um, it's far more uh, special uh, than um, it might be for the individual uh, that is participating and, and doing these particular acts with someone whom they felt was acceptable and uh, they could consent um, to, uh, you know, ha giving away the virginity or otherwise having just sex, you know, and um, that's, that's a big deal, if I'm being real about it, it's a very, very big deal, um, uh, it, it doesn't take much to learn that, and it doesn't take a lot to continually practice. If you listen to the end of my last one, we've stated and talked about the very real um, uh, truth that uh, children can have delayed gratification and predictively plan for a larger reward while also understanding the consequences of doing something impulsively now with candy or money or other similar situations and where they were uh, asked if they would like to receive this now versus later, but with more. Um, and uh, we often see them also sharing with other participants. Um, and so are likely to uh, have that ultimately end up meaning if they think that this individual is, is good, that uh, they'll refer them to others, much like we see with adults, with businesses or uh, small businesses or something similar, where they will word of mouth refer or recommend a given um, company or a uh, product that uh, would be, in their minds, uh, something acceptable um, and worth the value. So I, I know it's a little bit of a leap to some, but the, the logic and reasoning behind it is, is effectively pretty simple. A person understands that this is a good thing and values that and the, the also increased um, joy and all the rest of it and the trust that comes along with it is of course uh, very apparent um, and so therefore if uh, someone were to ask something uh, t to them you know uh, in regards to if they recommend XYZ sexually or this person or whatever else, the conversation can happen. So, uh, it is uh, possible, possibly, maybe likely, that they might refer the very person that they're having sex with to their friend that asked, which we see that in young adults and teens, if we going to be honest, and kids too, so, you know, nothing out of the ordinary in terms of a uh, statement that means uh, they do these things, if you don't know, they, they do do these things, we see this, they call them uh, growing, like, or something, I forget what it is, but it's like grooming, but with like, you know, something else, when in reality, it's, it, it, that's not really how that, in the uh, individuals involved, their view would, would equate to, that's not what that is, um, which is kind of crazy, if I'm being realistic about it, 
uh, to think about because, uh, of course, the phrasing and the legality of the nature of the situation and the people and what's going on is, uh, it's often very, very defamatory and negatively, connotively uh, stated with not much neutrality in regards um, to the uh, people you know, and are, is of course very one-sided, which can absolutely be the case. Absolutely. In no way I'm saying every single case is like this. Um, in fact, I'm doing uh, not that. I'm saying that it's, it's possible some, in fact, it's, it's, instead of possible, I would say straight up very certain that some were not abusive or traumatic and they don't really get recorded with the survivorship bias that is included with the child sexual abuse studies that are there which which happen to have the uh, individuals um, monitored that were abused and held up as a reason for why this shouldn't be a thing and they can't consent and so on and so forth and the resulting power dynamics and lack of understanding and naivety and, and inexperience um, can be uh, very helpfully uh, reduced and also um, seen as a normal part of growing up without the experience um, and uh, not as scary or as uh, rage inducing or um, panic stress induced responses or trauma and the individuals uh, hopefully um, that are the adults in this situation uh, willing to uh, do these things with these children, um, or teens, or young adults, um, are uh, hopefully understanding the value and importance of good communication skills towards these individuals that are not manipulative and uh, think a little bit further um, uh, and into what it is that they're going to say, the past, I just want the sex, or whatever else, which uh, equates, for me at least, the equivalent of a player, quote-unquote player, is what they call them, um, in the dating scenes, especially when you're in your mid to late teens, possibly early 20s, or more. Um, for men and women that are uh, very manipulative and um, perhaps do not have uh, much of a, a real care or understanding of the very real consequences of their manipulative actions and words uh, have or had on individuals they did it. Or it was... Uh, felt as though it was acceptable to do to individuals, um, especially when it comes down to children with the really strong desire for them to uh, go with whatever it is the person that they um, love and or feel as though that they're loving or um, hold in a high importance and value within their lives, uh, as well as, uh, you know, more as well for their emotional and uh, mental and very real energetic involvement for the individual, uh, adult, or maybe, uh, more, I don't know, but, um, it's likely uh, that um, it can be misunderstood by those adults because they didn't really go through the level of education that these kids did, if I'm being honest, and are very, very, very uh, horny and acting on urges 
uh, and having a, a final chance uh, at last to um, satisfy their their sexual needs as humans as well, which are valid, but uh, is illegal and it's not okay. Um, currently, if uh, well, I know many of them say anymore and or forever. I, I just don't buy that considering over the last records of humanity, I think 5,000 something more years that it has grown to be more acceptable and less acceptable and more ha uh, happens more often to less often um, and more persecuted to celebrate it. So, uh, and depending on which country and the empire or government or whatever else involved at the various stages of our history, um, it, it's all there, it just not very often talked about and typically is used as a sign of you're a creeper now if you bring up um, people being different and more accepting of something like that when... Uh, we view ourselves in a higher regard and more logical and all these other things. And if you listen to my last recording, that feels quite a bit less now the case. And if anything, uh, we're the same with just better tech that hasn't actually come to grips quite with the real, very real societal, cultural, and uh, other significant individual implications of our belief systems, philosophies, and how it molds and shapes the zeitgeist and the communication uh, avenues and, and their significance and importance are on shaping those things and whether or not, uh, as we are very uh, likely seeing, um, not just in the MAPS community but other communities uh, as well, um, just maybe talked about more and validated more um, for the lack of understanding like with transsexuals and uh, you know the validity of their identity being what it is and what they feel it is and um, you know uh, I, I'd like to get further and deeper into it it's just not worth it I feel like if you can't do some of that thinking yourself, um, and I have to feed you all the answers or examples or other things like this, um, that's possibly not the correct way of doing this, in which I am expressing a, a one part of an example, um, and while there are many where it is obviously not occurring, it does not invalidate the few or however many number it is that are experiencing it and are just as significant to them and as valid in their experiences too um, versus the ones it's not occurring to or do not believe it's occurring to so it, it's, it's effectively, for me, it's like, well, the majority doesn't, and so therefore we invalidate you as a transsexual, homosexual, bisexual, maps, sure, black, Latino, whatever, you know, mentally disabled, I mean mentally incapable, sorry, or mentally uh, having a mental disorder or some physical or mental disability, and um, the resulting... Uh, challenges and difficulties that are experienced and the invalidation and more that comes along with all of that too. Uh, maps in uh, my mind are equally as valid and we uh, need to view them in such a way that is not so terrible and evil that they should just be euthanized or eugenicsed out of our society and culture, not to mention that it wouldn't work because 
your DNA happens to contain them, you can't fully get rid of all the red hair people that exist by killing them all. It's in our DNA, it's a mutation that will eventually occur again. And even if you were to scrub out that mutation, there's nothing to say a stray neutron or radiation from the sun or something else may cause that mutation to happen once more. And then, um, while the belief is we are not animals, we are animals. We are animals with just more intelligence and communication skills, although it doesn't seem all the time that that is uh, used as uh, um, well as it could be or um, allowed uh, to be there for the intel intelligence uh, for the emotional um, and very valid v big emotions of fear and anxiety and stress and, f and, and all the rest that come with uh, wanting to not allow uh, people or harm to come to their children or other people's children. It's a natural response for us to try and protect these things. It's also why it's so powerful and often seen as acceptable regardless of the possible negatives that may come with the version of protection they've decided to go with this generation or um, at various stages of uh, different countries and the rest of it goes on so um, it, it's very difficult to uh, express to individuals um, the importance in, in, in my mind in my perspective of the level of safety that teaching and, and helping them practice these skills uh, help them to uh, have be a very significantly amazing um, help later on in life and uh, benefit for uh, their eventual own children um, that will hopefully be viewed in a more valid and less um, you know, detrimental and abusive and talk to the same way, you know, way and raised similarly, uh, as we are always trying our best to improve that. Uh, and this is a very good way to improve this. Um, and uh, I fully wholeheartedly believe it. Um, you know, it's, it's not perfect, though. I don't say it is. Uh, I definitely say it's, it's an improvement over what we currently have, and there's, there's probably more we could be doing. Uh, especially when it comes down to policing individuals with their negative views and biases towards uh, individuals, um, which, if you are unaware, still happens for the LGBTQIA plus crowd out there, too depending on where you are in our country and or state. So, I mean, it's kind of a hard thing. Same thing with black people, Latino people. I've, I've heard more than enough because I, I am a white individual um, from people that uh, felt comfortable enough exposing their levels of uh, discrimination with me and being unable to uh, kind of just leave because uh, of needing a car ride or help because no transportation and there's it's very rural around here and there's no buses that come through and don't really have the money and then having to interact with abusive family to get money. It's a whole thing. Uh, it's a situation that felt really sucky because it's like, oh, I have to compromise my my beliefs and... and, and, and uh, all the rest involved in that to effectively just shut up and more or less not make a fuss about it. And uh, that sucks. It hurts. It really fucking sucks and hurts. Um, 
Because it's like, I don't agree with you in the slightest, but I still need to get that ride home, so fucking jeez. That sucks. <laughs> or other similar stories to this. And I don't really want to get much further than that. But, um... Um... It's, it's a, a big deal in where a lot of uh, people feel as though um, they might not fully be in any way uh, believing me or what I'm trying to uh, say it could, uh, it could help um, or uh, not uh, believing um, for some reason or another the level of genuine acceptance and normalization of abusive, abusive patterns of behavior and uh, text and Communication, really, is what I should say, towards each other, or actions, physical violence actions, uh, being justified, and we see this, unfortunately, very often targeting um, all the people I've mentioned, not just uh, MAP individuals. So, um, it's, it's it's a shit show. Right now, what our culture and zeitgeist in society in general seems to be going through here in America. And um, I'd be lying if I said um, I, I feel like this without any issue will somehow be um, accepted and um, allowed and also set up for our parents and first and foremost to uh, learn and get a very good grasp and understanding of the communication and how to talk and phrase and emotional regulation techniques and more and then exercising that with them and then also the school uh, not in any way being um, allowed by law or other uh, things to not teach this and um, with the neutrality and understanding and um, necessary and deserved uh, legitimacy it requires for the people that are there and involved whether it is the LGBTQIA plus crowd uh, you know the colored uh, minorities uh, they're there, the differences of philosophies and beliefs of religion or non-religion therein, on top of uh, the other elephants in the room, which are, while it's not a sexuality, although I do feel that definition needs to be updated to include more than just gender into it, but uh, especially considering, I, I've said it before in my other one, it goes without saying uh, typically most people only have a certain age range that they're willing to date within and be uh, married to. On top of that age range being larger or smaller for some, then the sexual activities going on in the bedroom, uh, which are uh, obviously um, necessary and needed to be what they are for them to have a satisfying um, and uh, good enough relationship to carry and uh, move forward with the other individual or other individuals that are involved in the relationship or relationships um, and uh, to be able to accept that it's a not always monogamous or non-monogamous situation and uh, there are many different things uh, that are involved in that aspect as well, past just the bedroom activities, all of which are significantly intrinsic and important, and uh, while possibly learned later on because uh, understanding and knowledge of what that was and who you were and what to feel, uh, or what to, I shouldn't say what to feel, but 
what you might feel or how to come to understand those feelings really is what I want to get across. And, you know, um, all the rest that goes into being in, in, in a point where you for sure have a sexual identity or are in the process of discovering your sexual identity, or at least uh, saying that you have a sexual nature and are willing to identify some very core parts of yourself uh, and are exploring uh, what the others may or may not mean for you or the other people involved with you. And all that is to say that it's extremely, highly relevant to sexual identity and um, your your genuine view of self as a whole for those things to be included in. For you are not just a Pokemon card collector or a video game er. You are many things, including those things. You also have many other hobbies or you have many other likes and dislikes past your sexual shit and also traumas and personality traits and more so it's a very weird to me uh cop out when i hear people say it is not a part of the sexual identity um of people to include those things uh, are all of them and i mean this all of them are included except for the map except for age range you can't do it you can't, you can't do age range. And I'm like, what? <laughs> so all the rest of that, obviously, but not that one? No. Okay. It's clear what you're doing here. <laughs> you know, and, and, it's, and that's not valid in my perspective. That's just not. And I know I can't argue with you because, you know, that's that's very uh, obviously a uh, clear cognitive dissonance exception to the situation and what should be included simply to exclude and still marginalize and oppress and suppress uh, individuals in that community who are experiencing valid feelings that they were born with much like yourself and others out there um, are and are just as equally valid as theirs are uh, despite your level of hatred and or genuine uh, fear or whatever else of those individuals we're discussing um, but um, it, it, it's, it's obvious that there's, a, there's more work but not much. If I'm being realistic, if you were to listen to my past one, there's a lot of work that you can find uh, yourself. And I've given you good, reasonable ways of finding uh, the value, I would assume, uh, it would be a decent label of uh, uh, different studies and how to go about um, pursuing them as a valid and legitimate um, entrance into the conversation or um, discarding them uh, as they did not include various uh, factors and or variables or um, perspectives of the individuals or even the general goings-on of the uh, town or country or state that they were in and their beliefs, uh, also in terms of religion, philosophy, or whatever else uh, they are in, that can greatly influence and in, you know all the stuff that they might have mistreated them or felt as though they were being mistreated and invalidated um, by their parents or siblings or whatever, because uh, feeling it was not a, an assault, rape, or something similar. Um, even if their uh, beliefs of the other individual are such that um, it was this. Uh, 
So that's that's what that would be. But um, there's no perfect study, you know. I'd like to say there are, but there's a decent amount that have uh, enough, and and many of them that you can kind of collect enough data from that, putting them together and meta analyze or meta analyze the resulting studies and. and you know, also allow for a good or a great deal of um, acceptable um, lack of understanding or enough uh, evidence to be uh, aggregated in, in an effective manner for all of the different um, amounts of perspectives or socioeconomic factors, um, zeitgeist there within, um, and so on. Um, as much as we would love to do that immediately, it, it's, it's, you know, even that's going to take some, some dang time. And there are paywalls and there are a large amount of, uh, individual things that seem to disappear, or a few studies that seem to straight up disappear, and are no longer allowed to be linked to through Google or even Tor, of all places. But it's a legitimate website and legitimate scientific paper and all the rest of it. So it, it, it goes without saying, it, 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 it's difficult when suppression of information that may be something not desired for the individuals beliefs uh, and how it could change uh, those beliefs and or the narrative or the surrounding uh, hatred or non-hatred or whatever it just would possibly change things and likely for the better if we're being honest for these uh, MAP pedophile, ebophile, hebophile individuals are uh, individuals that are able to go uh, throughout very large age ranges, either above or below or both, uh, for themselves, um, but not act and still have a healthy, normal life with adults and, and so on, uh, which are often not very included in those studies. Um, while helping to also hopefully remove some of the survivorship bias of uh, stipulating only convicted or caught or individual and uh, people whom seem to uh, believe uh, that they were um, abused, traumatized, and uh, so on. So. It, there's, there's, I'm pointing in some directions. There's, there is a lot uh, out there around the world because uh, it's, it's been everywhere around the world and it's uh, not going to go away. Uh, it's a part of our DNA. Um, and so the uh, fascination of sexual activities has gone on as far as I can tell from the moment we started being more human and, and less uh, what we originally have evolved from. So, um, it, it's, a, it, it's a thing that's, that's clearly going to have to be there. Um, so, I don't know where to, to go with it other than there's a large amount of of, of talking and discussion with individuals that are willing and able to uh, correctly uh, have a conversation and discussion and communicate without being belittling or um, bullying or derogatory and validating um, and so on. Uh, towards those individuals that uh, are MAP individuals or any of the other ones. Since they also need to be a part of that conversation too and a lot of people invalidate them and, and so on and so forth as well. So 
you know, I can see why the fear is there for what it will mean for their movement. But then at the same time, that half-assed measure got a lot of shit not accomplished. When you, when you consider um, all the effort and energy we've used all the way up from the beginning of the public school system and women's right to vote and uh, colored individuals' right to vote um, and you know, validity of uh, mental disorders uh, in the psychiatric or therapeutic uh, you know, setting. So it, it's always been a struggle. It's always been a struggle. And uh, I, I don't feel as though having uh, the scapegoat be them to be worthwhile at any point, um, seeing as how you're still fighting to get this done. And it's been very long periods of time now doing so, people getting relaxed and things going away. Um, when it comes down to uh, passing amendments or laws and bills and so on, and acceptance uh, uh, and understanding, it's, it, it takes a lot of effort, energy, for people to genuinely um, challenge uh, and possibly have uh, the... Um, a, a, individual that they're hoping to um, help see their point of view and uh, reasons and um, explanations behind their belief or uh, whatever it is um, and that uh, their response is uh, hopefully no longer as uh, violent or um, manipulative, or out, down, downright and outright, completely um, derogatory and and uh, very uh, mean towards the individuals that they're they're trying to have a meaningful exchange of of ideas and, and thoughts and uh, feelings and and possibly gain a better, more sympathetic, empathetic understanding and acceptance or compassion towards, or all of that, towards towards others, and um, whether or not that they want to or not, it's, this is, this is, this is where the problem I, I feel lies, uh, for my perspective, and feelings and thoughts on the matter, because it's like, That is such a weird thing to say. It's like this person clearly is this and they're in front of you and that is real. And you don't accept it. And there are others like them and yeah, all the rest of that that goes with it. And they do it with transsexuals. They do it with homosexuals. They do it with a whole bunch of us. And it is genuinely a discomfort towards um, uh, being alright and accepting of viewing uh, others differently um, and in a more you know well-rounded view and the removal and or reduction or something like this to their their current uh, emotions and understanding and and thoughts uh, towards these individuals whom they have consistently and um, more uh, continually really um, felt anger rage fear uh, and a lot uh, of that towards any any of them and uh, don't want to really change it or even entertain the idea of 
that was extremely ingrained um, even when uh, presented with evidence to the contrary that is very legitimate uh, refuse to change um, and there isn't much you can do about that I, I would I'd, I'd love to tell you that there is but uh, there, there really isn't uh, people are uh, people and themselves and that's how this works and uh, that you can't change everyone and that's not how that works but you know they can change themselves should they uh, wish to continue those thoughts or debates in their head or whatever else um, hopefully believing um in uh, the fact that you know um, if it's religion God created us equally or if it is a philosophy then it is uh, regardless um, still more detrimental to be that way towards the entirety of humanity than it is to be another way and more acceptable of these and more open-minded of these individuals or if it's not either of those it's scientifically known we are all made of the same DNA just rearranged differently so um, and if not any of that uh, then talking to someone who is obviously and clearly um, becoming so irrational and emotional and illogical and, and unwilling in, in any capacity to discuss or allow for any change uh, is a um, is a let go of try and find someone else that might believe it. They did the same thing with women in the past. They, they did the same thing with everyone. And you're never going to get everyone. So that's how that works. Even if it's a decent argument. Even if you're making it so that way, you know, they're uh, going to be able to find it themselves and trust in uh, the ones they find uh, things to uh, their own, you know, reasons or so on hopefully with the understanding that we will still go after uh, different parts of studies if it turns out it's um, genuinely um, not actually uh, as seemingly significant as you would think so um Time is as as move forward. It is now six forty or six fifty p.m. Now I've gone through two appointments and uh, you know other uh, things I had to do today. After that, um, and so uh, it's it's been a bit of a a rough insomnia fueled um, and all that sort of thing. Uh, day, and hopefully it uh, will not it will not get worse, uh, but get better for the remainder of the week. Uh, instead, uh, lots of drama, lots of um, arguments with uh, my mom and the postal worker, and me with some postal workers. Uh, the cat pretty much keeping me awake constantly, the majority of the time. Uh, she's afraid and getting used to the new uh, things uh, going on, you know, um, and situation that's uh, going on. Um, I just wanted to update you there. Anyways, uh, I, I'm pretty much done, honestly, at this point. I'm <laughs> being real about uh, talking uh, and discussing this topic in, in my frame of view and uh, 
perspective. Because there's not much more I can state or, uh, you know, make a decent effort in having individuals perhaps understand uh, not just the perspective, but uh, why um, it comes from my acceptance of these other uh, uh, people that are valid and and normal, uh, like anyone else uh, on the planet uh, that happen to be um, differently colored skin, differently abled, uh, different sexualities, uh, preferences in the bedroom, um, age ranges, acceptable maturity levels, um, and level and amount of individuals in uh, a relationship with the people, uh, um, and, uh, involved together. Uh, all of, uh, that is, is, uh, valid and, uh, okay. Um, regardless of uh, your stance. Unfortunately, um, for me, more than anything, I don't really give a shit about your view in this regard, but uh, take it for what you will and your feelings that are uh, a part of my viewpoint that uh, MAP, uh, minor attracted pe persons, are also a valid uh, group of individuals as well, and could very well be a great help and key in helping us parent and and otherwise uh, support and encourage our children and their feelings and emotions uh, about other things going on in their life and people and what they're doing on top of their uh, possible, um, you know, career goals or uh, communication um, that uh, can always be continuously uh, worked on and improved, especially over time, um, while also including their very legitimate and real thoughts and emotions, um, curiosities, uh, or whatever else that uh, may be going on emotionally with uh, them individualistically. Uh, for uh, sexual um, desires, thoughts, uh, curiosity again, uh, you know, the, the list kind of goes on on that one, you know, um, and being able to help them to understand uh, and uh, correctly, uh, not just in the uh, sexual area, but overall, um, communicate and enforce boundaries that they have with themselves and or others, um, and respecting those on top of finding out uh, their triggers and um, where those triggers may be coming from and uh, working through them or working around them or just having a regular boundary is is totally acceptable, or all three of those, if that is what their choice is, uh, that they wish to do, and uh, try and um, figure out uh, for themselves for uh, their uh, desired amount of, you know, control over emotions, or uh, lessened... Uh, emotional responses uh, which are uh, overly uh, overwhelming or negative in some manner and um, 
I would uh, also have to say um, that, uh, of course, that it's very significant to have uh, in your uh, ability to understand and um, uh, communicate effectively towards um, adults. Um, should they feel uh, comfortable, willing, or whatever uh, to express those uh, thoughts, uh, emotions, desires, and so on uh, to them involving some sexual activity or just some other version of hanging out or something. Um, and... Uh, with the necessary uh, assurances and or uh, ba respected boundaries and and or even people around this, if that's what's uh, felt is um, what makes them comfortable and um, not th feel threatened by uh, what's going on, or, and just having people not feel um, jaded, or looked down, or thought lesser of, or something similar, um, as a result of them uh, having that um, be a thing going on. I mean, it's, it's pretty normal treatment for when dating starts to occur in their teenage uh, years. So I, I don't I really see why it wouldn't be acceptable uh, earlier, for sure, you know, as well. So, um, uh, but uh, anyways, if anything, it should... Uh, help them clearly practice stating that uh, they are uncomfortable or that they are, are wanting more or they are comfortable or um, various things like this uh, with themselves and with the people that are involved in the situation as well. Um, and uh, hopefully uh, everyone uh, is accommodating and respectful and uh, falls through on um, what is, is, is there uh, being said and, and talked about or discussed or uh, stated as a boundary or desire or uh, and uh, very much um, again uh, with uh, another understanding that they will, uh, regardless of younger or adult here, uh, is not to push past comfort zones or boundaries unless uh, situation or conversation or something uh, has been talked and discussed enough and uh, all the required you know, things have been discussed or uh, set up or allowed uh, and so on uh, for everybody to be uh, feeling comfortable about um, pushing a little if that is what they so uh, choose as um, a new experience or uh, something like that that they uh, want to try out um, and that's fine that's pretty normal for uh, actually a lot of people that have decent communication skills and are uh, generally speaking a little more respectful and uh, you know um, all the rest of it for those uh, 
boundaries and or safe spaces or um, the necessary needed communication while it feels uh, it can be something that drags on or unnecess is unnecessary or um, whatever from either party involved, either the young or the adult or both. However, it is necessary for them to learn this and it to be practiced by adults uh, as well. So uh, I feel as though it's very necessary um, to do until uh, an established uh, relationship or uh, precedent for the people involved have been um, uh, has been set uh, by them or the number of them that are involved and uh, the ex the uh, general uh, attitude is uh, ex it's acceptable um, for f this to go on and or happen and uh, occur possibly multiple times within a single, I guess, uh, sexual interaction uh, that, or just regular hanging out and possibly just conversations that may be uh, currently seen and or believed to be too deep or um, possibly scarring or traumatic or problematic, or, or similar uh, things in that vein, um, to the uh, child and or even adult. Uh, not going to lie, not all adults are created equal in terms of their ability to handle uh, various uh, topics and or um, more, if I should be more specific, it's just various shit, uh, which is nice, a nice, you know, way to talk about that, but, like, it can range from a slew of topics and possible actions and or, uh, you know, further just you know, body language, even discussions that can be included within uh, those conversations that can be extremely meaningful um, in terms of what's being discussed or uh, expressed their very significant discomfort and uh, unwillingness to continue the conversation um, with either one or both parties. Um, uh, in every way having that right because uh, no offense I don't want to give children a loaded gun to use on adults that they can just try and force them to say whatever and that they're able to just say that um, they were abusing me or whatever and uh, there's there's not uh, uh, going to be a, a situation in where biases and double standards and beliefs and philosophical natures and so on can, will not end up getting placed into uh, the individuals seeking arrest or believing something or so on and, and so forth. Um, and also the very real uh, fact that uh, adults can 100% be harmed in um, uh, that kind of situation if not um, acknowledged. Uh, the the very real possibility that a, uh, a child or young teen or adult, whatever, um, medium and older teen too, um, 
incorrectly um, views the pushing or jeering or something similar um, as not as uh, significantly bad as it actually was and or is for the individuals uh, that are adults uh, in this situation or one individual that depends of course on what's going on right so I just don't want them to be um, uh, effectively feel as though there is no way out have uh, no ability to um, prevent thanks to the power shift in the situation that the child or young teen or so on happens to be um, having in that uh, situation going on um, and uh, the amount of emotional, mental and possibly even verbal abuse and trauma that can result in something like that going on and uh, uh, the very real fact that uh, their view again might not be uh, as compassionate or understand quite uh, with a necessary and uh, correct amount of empathy or sympathy um, uh, required f to feel uh, to understand that, that that it was uh, more than just a mistake or uh, something uh, that um, got pushed a little too far. Uh, it's a much more akin to um, straight up abuse and trauma. Uh, in fact, if anything, torture. Because uh, it's very obvious that uh, it, it can be more readily seen that the uh, child, teen, adult, young adult in this situation, in, in, in every way, um, did not know what they were doing, uh, or... Um, were given a pass uh, when that shouldn't uh, maybe be uh, what is um, really acceptable, yeah, that kind of a situation. Um, on top of the, yeah, the biases as of other individuals, um, more or less... Um, immediately believing the worst in the adult and that the child is fully, totally innocent and has no idea uh, which uh, what we're talking about having go down and occur uh, simply isn't the truth, but then um, uh, people will still believe that because of their inherent biases, beliefs, and philosophies uh, involved in something like this. And uh, the resulting very real um, misunderstanding um, of the capabilities of the younger individuals involved uh, and their ability to harm others. So, uh, knowing full well that they can do that harm to them, so it's a thing. It's it's just like kind of a big deal, and so I don't want them to not also have the same level of um, expected and necessary, uh, you know respect for boundaries and follow through on boundaries and outlines and, and more. Um, remember to any of the MAP, minor attracted persons out there, or individuals that are just curious as to 
doing it maybe even themselves and don't maybe even have the attraction would just love to have like a conversation or whatever i don't care i don't pertain to know everything on that uh, and i'm not going to try uh, my expectations um is, is something such that uh Not every incident is is uh, just pure sexual and all these things, and uh, you can now suddenly have a great, grand, huge relationship, and um, which is to say that uh, while well, you can have a relationship and you can you can figure uh, out how to proceed and. Re- uh, help them to understand your lack of attraction after a certain point or attraction still uh, moving forward and uh, that shouldn't um, be viewed as uh, very serious and that can be acceptable um, for the individuals that are um, told and upfront uh have that known about what's going on with the, the, the person they're trying to see and or, you know, uh, have this uh, relationship or sexual activity or conversation or whatever go on. But um, I'm here to let you know that while that's all nice and good, and it seems as though it could functionally work if done correctly, with enough supervision and or safeguards in place, yes. Um, there's also uh, a very real, I feel, for those individuals or others, uh, need to be uh, understanding that it's more training, teaching uh, style, I guess, of uh, if the father or mother or whomever um, is not wanting to participate or not comfortable with, or same thing with the younger individuals, um, that uh, then if they do wish to pursue, um, it is to help them grow and be nurtured and uh, taught to be more experienced in a good environment with good understanding of themselves and what uh, it means to be appropriately and and properly respected and um, uh, validated and concerns listened, heard, and uh, validated again, but also uh, what can be done, what can be done by everybody involved to be able to have um, that uh, able to be allowed or happens or um, figured out successfully or somehow in a acceptable compromise. Um, um, in, in which they feel uh, comfortable and are okay with uh, proceeding or continuing with conversations or whatever else might be uh, going on or may happen. Uh, so uh, the big the, the big takeaway for that I want people to 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 kind of realize that I'm trying to get across. Um, is that while, yes, sex and, and, and all the rest can occur and be um, done in a non-traumatic uh, and abusive, and or abusive, really, um, fashion, it still is to be a teaching, um, and um, also on top of that, um, a genuine... Uh, help to uh, experience um, the validity and uh, very real necessary 
ways to be um, correctly and properly uh, addressed and validated and also even more uh, for relationships and those relationships uh, are healthy uh, or at least healthier, yes. Um, you know, so, uh, or at least that's the, the, the very real hypothesis and hope, uh, which I feel doesn't conflict with, uh, reality or logic or even emotional reasoning. Uh, given um, the correct circumstances and situations uh, involved and the right people uh, as well involved. Um, of course, a more relaxed environment with less supervision are obviously um, something that can start happening um, on the time schedule, the individual or the individual together with uh, help, understanding uh, from others, um, views is is uh, okay to proceed with the lessened supervision, and is comfortable with that now versus uh, something different instead. And so, uh, which more which means more supervision. I mean more supervision and and you know all the rest of it. Uh, going on f to make sure that they are uh, not going to be uh, groomed or manipulated or um, hurt, traumatized, invalidated, gaslit, assaulted, molested, raped, or anything. No, nope, there's no, unless they want that. That's a other conversation down the road for more advanced more experienced people that were possibly curious uh, at a younger age, but um, decided uh, to continue that curiosity and pursue it later on when it was much less likely um, that they uh, weren't uh, unaware of the real risks and, and negative outcomes that can occur with that situation uh, happening instead of uh, kind of having a different view and perspective, maybe a little too inexperienced and naive um, to fully understand uh, or perhaps only, um, again, uh, having just trauma and um, abuse and, and very real mental problems and emotional problems and more with physical and problems and there could even be uh, other forms of brain damage that depending on how the individual uh, proceeded to uh, act and uh, do it um, to them you know and so on I don't want to get too deep into detail on that one, but uh, suffice it to say, I don't want them um, uh, being hurt. That's that's the opposite of what I'm uh, trying to accomplish, uh, and and talk and and put forward as uh, my uh, genuine uh, perspective and belief uh, of. Uh, a, at least for some children, is a very, very real uh, possibility of um, being done and is, uh, if anything, a benefit for them um, and uh, helps accelerate uh, based upon their now heard, understood, validated, and and helped uh, to uh, be added um, in as 
a uh, help and uh, assist the teachers or parents or uh, whatever uh, may be uh, the individuals that are involved in that going on are uh, going to be called. Um, I haven't come up with a name for any of it at all. So, but, um, uh, they'll, uh, finally have, um, a environment that, fully uh, embraces the idea that they are, or at least is cautiously embracing, for sure, uh, the idea that these children went, uh, uh, and teens and young adults as well, uh, have been uh, helped to uh, achieve a greater understanding of themselves and ability to communicate. And uh, uh, are uh, consistently, or at least, showing uh, their um, you know genuine planning and you know more uh, for you know pros and cons. Uh, why and why not uh, the uh, rest of the hows and the, the maybes and the and so on and so forth uh, and being done and written and uh, communicated effectively uh, with uh, the teacher or teachers or parents um, and or uh, more involved in this situation on top of because it depends on how far it goes and gets to the point where it's uh, been uh, now something that's going to be acted upon and actively uh, set up to be done um, for uh, the uh, people that are that are involved in the situation yeah but um again i want to uh, try and uh help un under people understand that um uh that they're uh accepting and validating that the the voice and feelings and thoughts and very real uh uh, wanting to proceed uh, through with on uh, desires or urges or curiosity or any uh, version uh, there within, yes. And it's meant to help them experience a good relationship um, early on to know what to look out for and uh, spot um the dangers or bad manipulative language or um, people not um, doing the same uh, back uh, towards them and really fully uh, appreciating and validating and uh, showing their their love and so on uh, for the the other individual uh, and not just themselves and the, you know, sexual or conversational or whatever it might be um, that is is uh, attributed with uh, the adult or possibly even the children, depending on how uh, not um, as put together or even teens or young adults, um, and how much work they have not done, so on and 
so forth, uh, in which it could be a genuinely significant role reversal uh, in the power dynamics of the situation, um, wherein the, the older adult feels um, much more as if they are the, the kid and are uh, very more uh, the ones needing to be uh, protected, possibly. Uh, as, you know, once individuals um, that are younger get a hold of something um, and can use it very effectively uh, after a lot of practice and, and, and training and teaching, uh, and continued effort and in, in, into it, um, well, it could very well end up being um, that uh, it's past a they don't understand things. Uh, it could very well be that um, they take things too far too quickly uh, before you could stop them, yes, or um, likewise with the children, absolutely, um, and that has to be, uh, very, um, hopefully, I, I would hope this is what's going to occur, um, understood is unacceptable behavior and will be appropriately, uh, punished, um, and, and, uh, enforced that uh, with um, a uh, you know safeguard or individual or uh, something that is deemed acceptable by uh, the uh, both parties or uh, you know um, figure out some level of compromise uh, and if not they can find someone else that is a-okay but um it's it's uh, a point of contention for me especially uh and and where um the the child is uh the the, the very much power dynamically uh you know l lower on on that scale um at least especially initially and especially if this was done with um, something uh, of an adult individual that uh, was not as uh, ready or put together or um, understanding of their emotions and or uh, more even the, as, a, as a thing that could be there, um, you know, everybody uh, tries their best, and so, um, uh, they might be too immature to actually be allowed to do it, um, which is a thing that can happen, and same thing with the, the, ch the children and teens and young adults, so, you know, you gotta, gotta weigh that. Yeah, so, but uh, who makes the determination? And that one's kind of hard, um, especially when a child might uh, not be picking up on signs with their lack of experience yet that are there that seem to indicate a lack of maturity or aggressive behavior or similar uh, going on with um, the adult and, uh, or literally vice versa in some cases too. Um, and so, you know, it's, it's, uh, of course also, you know, um, the individual's, uh, levels of comfort level and, uh, accepting the fact that they have accepted the risks and it now means, um, that, uh, it's kind of out of your hands. Yeah. You watch the... If it is a shit show, a shit show. If it is not a shit show, 
be pleasantly, wonderfully surprised, and hope that that's every single time. Um, it's unlikely to be that, you know, statistically speaking, but, you know, it's, it's a thing. Um, what I'd say is for me in my past self, uh, wherein I was doing my Chandler uh, house living room, but wasn't me, and um, is intermixed with individual entities or connected people or something that was uh, possibly just dis dissociative identity disorders or schizophrenic psychosis or complex PTSD that I've been diagnosed with or schizoaffective, uh, I should say, because I've been diagnosed with that uh, psychosis or bipolar with mania. There's the incidence of my child's sexual abuse and trauma, uh, me um, emotionally processing as if I'm talking to people, or myself even sometimes in third person. Um, there's, there's a lot there that could be um, a part of, uh, but generally speaking, um, what uh, I believe... Um, and what I feel is, is more um, accurate and correct to say is uh, it, at times uh, certainly was acceptable or uh, not hated, um, maybe, question mark, um, based upon the resulting levels of either being poked around or the personality that was there happened to be such that it was okay and enjoyed the the level of uh, abuse or um, trauma inflicted upon individuals. Maybe it was a correct reason in terms of their level of willingness to harm uh, me is what I felt may be occurring, or their level of, uh, you know, significant uh, abuse and trauma towards others, possible manipulative uh, behavior patterns and that could uh, indicate um, something significantly harmful towards uh, everyone else, uh, and... Uh, uh, all those involved, um, um, but, uh, again, it's, I, I just recently took, pretty recently, uh, there was some weird, uh, point, um, in which it definitely changed, and I got separated from whatever was going on in my head, or around me, or, I don't know, psychosis, or something, um, and I felt distinctly more genuinely myself, my thoughts, my emotions, my own feelings, my own, all of that, and has continued consistently for a long time, getting better uh, over time um, at expressing them and feeling comfortable enough to express them uh, out loud or record or even uh, hopefully uh, with a therapist again um, or for the first time really or some of this stuff uh, in any way whatsoever. So um, it's, it's to say if you were to look at my past self it would not be in any way I feel unjustified in believing uh, that I would not be someone or something that would likely be deemed uh, acceptable or, if not acceptable, being the right word, uh, without a genuine view of uh, risk and um, uh, and uh, other profiles of um, types of sexual 
activity that um, are on the more rougher or less kinder caring about uh, the individual's uh, emotions or so on and so forth involved. Um, and uh, as kind of shitty as it is to say, uh, but uh, eventually that will be valid or seen as uh, by however many we don't know uh, that uh, know about it and uh, of course uh, understand it enough uh, to not be um, in uh, a mindset or a view of um, not uh, having wanted to try it somewhat uh, and be allowed to uh, continue if no or even uh, other uh, words outside of a safe word are used um, and uh, to have uh, enough safety there for uh, it to be acceptable by the parties involved. Um, that being said, uh, I'm extremely different now. Uh, whatever I was working through and whatever I touched a, as a raw nerve in my psyche, doing my deep meditation and uh, attempting to uh, examine very dark and very extremely uh, negative and, uh, and so on, uh, memories, um, well, um, but it, it, it changed things, and I had to figure out also why I came to think this way, and why, you know, kind of like EMDR therapy, and in, in which you, you kind of process, and, uh, hopefully more outside, and uh, more object objective, hope hopefully again, uh, view and perspective that allows for uh, the tolerance and acceptance of another individual's thoughts and emotions, uh, although abusive and and, and so on, uh, still uh, they also are carrying these uh, um, emotions and or. Uh, reasons for their actions, um, even if that was in, in no way uh, all right or acceptable or uh, ever supposed to happen or again be allowed, but um, it, it's to help uh, kind of release uh, and reframe um, the uh, very real and drastic trauma uh, caused by these memories and um, and the people uh, that caused them and the triggers um, um, that are also uh, a part of the, that trauma um, to be hopefully uh, if done correctly or um, properly or whatever you want to call it um you get a reduction of the severity of your symptoms for the trigger and anxieties uh, and environments that uh, feel similar or remind subconsciously uh, about similar situations or uh, other things uh, similar to that um uh, and while also then going into your own belief system uh, or perspective as to what's uh, you know the perspective of the world around you and all that kind of again doing the who what where why's and all the rest of it um, that can be extremely uh, helpful, but can also uh, drastically 
um, alter uh, your self-identity uh, on top of possibly uh, as a way out of um, the embarrassment or jealousy or uh, overwhelming negative emotions uh, involved in what's happening and uh, when you think about your self-identity um, could end up becoming acceptable and you can turn into a narcissistic egotistical nightmare or um, worse than even that and figure uh, out how to justify things you would literally never ever do or allow uh, yourself to ever even think before previously and it will feel as if it were just a thing going on in your head not worrisome, not anything, it's just there and in some aspects that's good and on uh you know other in other aspects it's it's very bad because um you might not uh have the uh for the situation involved level of seriousness attached to the actions or w communication style words used to express your and communicate your emotions or thoughts or uh, desires or something similar um, it can go f much further so be very very careful um, I kind of became very confident and self-assured um, which is a nice way depending on of course the perspective of the individual and their uh, being okay or liking uh, the personality that they perceived um, and, and, and their filters for their own personality and beliefs and so on and internally and memories of other experiences with other similar individuals or uh, situations involving these individuals um, without having maybe done some examination work towards where those um, perspectives towards these individuals or otherwise uh, can come from or uh, how it got to the point where they felt it was more likely or uh, just that, that uh, something is that uh, the person is, uh, but I digress. Um, what I'm trying to, to get across is uh, it, it can drastically alter uh, perception and um, enjoyment or dislike, hatred, so on, that, that goes into uh, that uh, type of personality um, that uh, is very polarizing to, to many people. Um, even the personality I have now, which is still shitty, being honest, um, while more accurate to myself before this uh, deep meditation, um, and with a very inexperienced and lack of a real um, thought process, uh, long term, short term, medium term, being done um, and uh, the understanding uh, of implications uh, and resulting uh, thoughts and reactions and actions towards uh, myself and, and others uh, were uh, resulting uh, changed drastically uh, seemingly as if overnight or um, very quickly um, 
within a few weeks, possibly, um, and genuinely believed a different person had disassociatively come in, or psychotically uh, broke in, or uh, something, you know, occurred uh, that might be more uh, sci-fi in nature, perhaps. I don't know. Uh, all I know is uh, that I didn't really uh, know uh, with great certainty or even uh, a good uh, solid base understanding um, on what the effects and or uh, results of uh, doing s stuff like this or attempting things like this or um, even kind of just trial and erroring it uh, could uh, end up resulting uh, in uh, um, the proceeding um, goings on uh down the road, um, and was, uh, uh not really given, uh, I feel the necessary weight and value, it, um, and caution and patience, uh, uh um, I feel now, especially, uh, after it's gone on and, and, and it's done and all that, uh, and resulted in this. Now, um, I fully believe I should have uh, had and taken and used during uh, those uh, meditation, deep meditation rituals or uh, whatever um, it happens to already have for a name somewhere that I'm, I, I'm not very aware of or uh, know the, that uh, terminology uh, of what it is I'm describing um, the process of. Um, just that uh, I couldn't feel with my therapist at the time safe and comfortable enough to talk and reveal about these uh, memories on, on top of it uh, having, um, uh, you know, such a massive anxiety and fear of what he might think or do or say or whatever the case was for my therapist at the time, Ernest Ford, um, because we were actually genuinely at that point pretty well versed and, and close. But, uh, this is something I've seen, not just with him, from myself, uh, in past relationships or vulnerable periods of, uh, and moments in my, my life, in which I couldn't trust, uh, even if it seemed as though I should be able to, at, at that point, and, and, uh, uh, definitely should have and did believe I could trust that I just don't know what the I guess I was too high and too confident and too cocky maybe further uh, the self-sabotaging behavior if we're being honest really reared its ugly head at that point because I felt as though um, it would be something that would change the nature of our professional and kind of kind of friendly relationship we had going at the time um, together, you know, and, you know, I didn't want him to think lesser or I, I for whatever reason, couldn't feel comfortable uh, talking and performing the EMDR 
it, it just felt like such a risk to place that level of um which he's a trained professional and, and of course you hope that uh there wouldn't any he, he wouldn't he's he's uh very at least in my view from my time uh being his patient uh <laughs> solid, uh, unlikely to manipulate or brainwash or whatever, um, the emo emotions, memories, thoughts, and uh, all the rest, uh, that come with, um, trying to access, uh, those, uh, very dark spots in, in, in our minds and, and, and memories, so... Uh, it, it just, whatever reason, I don't know why, uh, I f just couldn't f feel comfortable uh, and felt too uh, scared and afraid of allowing uh, someone to uh, be trusted like this um, at the time. And so, uh, and, and around that time, we had kind of more or less stopped really seeing each other as often. Um, I had cannabis, I was exercising, I was meditating, eating better, um, avoiding my mother and my family in general. I was working towards goals uh, I felt were good, uh, that were creative uh, goals for writing or concept art or uh, well, writing, as in acting out uh, entire scenes, stories with all the different characters and all these other uh, things uh, being done, um, you know, to uh, along with how I would set uh, camera angles and shots and slow mos and all the rest of it up for movies or TV. Because I was kind of interested around that period of time uh, in believing and hoping I might be able to figure out uh, how to function on, through my uh, mental uh, issues um, and be able to become something and in the entertainment industry or perhaps um, something else, because I didn't really just stop at that. I stopped at engineering. I, 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 I didn't stop at engineering, sorry. I didn't just stop at, at, at the movies and TVs and all the rest of that. I continued on to engineering and science and technology and physics and, uh, you know, mathematics, um, various uh, pursuits of, of, of knowledge. And material design and um, lots and, and, and lots of uh, I felt uh, were while uh, even myself uh, back then uh, fully acknowledged their uh, inability to work fully or uh, while got pretty damn close uh, to f fully grasping the the actual physics or uh, you know mechanisms uh, and materials uh, needed or so on and so forth to have uh, the, the possibility of these concepts working um, was still lacking in, uh, in knowledge. An understanding, so I pursued without reading books or watching documentaries or going on any online internet, uh, you know, source of learning. Um, unfortunately, all too accurate. Uh, I I just sat and thought about what is the most logical and maybe uh, while well, seemingly. To some might f seem uh, not intuitive, but uh, for me at the time was uh, obviously 
the only intuitive way it could be, and logically made no sense for it to be something else, um, and went about uh, starting with uh, large and then medium and then small, I eventually figured out uh, later uh, I had come up with very similar ideas to, uh, I think there's Finan, these window, infinite amount of windows and different little interactions for all these particles. And I'm like, that's my window that I came up with to imagine and visualize particles interacting at a very small scale. I'm like, does this guy fucking just steal from me? Because at the time, it was just like, possible. Uh, some, I'm not even sure how, but still is a feasible possibility with the quantum part of our brains being a bit of a thing and the idea of quantum information being uh, possibly projected or turned into a superpositional state and then uh, uh, moved somehow. Again, uh, I'm never really too wonderfully versed on, on those uh, possibilities, but, uh, it, it, it still remains, uh, something that I feel as though wouldn't be out of the realm of something that has enough, uh, seemingly behind it that it could be done for, uh, time travel, uh, in some weird quantum timey wimey wormholey entanglement superposition thing or something um anyways i didn't f focus too much on it as uh, of course i had no clue at all at, at that point in time what was really going on and uh how massively i had started uh connecting to individuals real people without my uh, real understanding uh, that that was not only imagination uh, every time, always. <laughs> um, which was a terrifying uh, realization to come to um, and embarrassing uh, by far. Uh, along with... Um, other distinctly uh, influencing kind of possibilities that were also starting to happen and or occur. Um, I'm not really totally sure how a lot of it started happening. Um, I talk about astral projection and the possibility of it uh, being some, again, field interaction with our brains uh, that sends um, more or less like a LIDAR or uh, some kind of radio or ultrasonic frequency uh, instance like similarity not ultrasonic frequency but like you know you could see the general shape of a room with ultrasonic frequencies if you, if you were to do it right and capture it correctly, um, and like the brain's pretty powerful, so I tried my best to kind of imagine and listen and learn, and it took well over a year for me to do back then with uh, two to three uh, times uh, meditation a day uh, between one to three hours a pop doing that on cannabis, yes, uh, heavy uh, doses of uh, hybrid, uh, you know, either sativa or indica strains, very relaxing, you know, uh, on top of the exercise and the reading scientific articles, and uh, then, you know, studies that came up in the news, breaking new science news stuff, either on Twitter or Google or whatever, but um, also exercising and eating healthier and removing um, 
these toxic uh, emotions and people triggering them um, greatly in, in, in my life, which can also help contribute towards the overall uh, ability f for the brain, I think, to pick up new information, be creative, willing to take risks, and while still failing, uh, accepting what may be good and tossing out the rest, and um, really just kind of not letting mistakes or misunderstandings or lack of knowledge uh, get in the way of continuing to want to learn and do the best I could um, with everything I was uh, trying to do at the time for either learning science and technology and the ins and outs of a lot of that are the ins and outs of the entertainment and the psychosocial parasocial crowd dynamic relationship with the entertainer or influencers, the resulting uh, styles of uh, phrases or uh, body language, uh, colors, um, speech patterns, ling neurolinguistic uh, types of techniques that can be present uh, within those speeches to try and uh, head and sort of guide and prime uh, individuals into uh, believing or feeling uh, a certain way or belief towards um, a group of individuals or political party or corporation or whatever. I just kind of winged it for a good while until I started getting uh, some practice and I genuinely felt I'd become fairly good at it. Um, wish I'd recorded. Wish I'd recorded, if I'm honest. Uh, but um, maybe somebody did record one of the... Because there was a Chromebook, my mom's Chromebook, a tablet, mom's phone... Uh, there are uh, multiple uh, different recording devices while I didn't use them. Um, weirdly enough, strange things did start occurring, and I pretty much got later confirmation uh, when I put a I took a picture but didn't post it of a shoe on my head in a tent in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, uh, because my brain was saying to me uh, and that... Um, these individuals were asking for proof of, of, of self or proof of picture or whatever. It's a it's an old 4chan, put a shoe on your head uh, to prove it was is you and, uh, uh, and the owner and, and person of the, you know, the, the post um, and or in this instance, uh, the phone because, uh, of course, it had gone through, I'd gone through several phones. Uh, I started off with an HTC, then a blue, and then I had, like, this kind of very uh, rudimentary uh, Samsung A11 or something. It doesn't matter. Um, which are, uh, turn, turns out, uh, things that if there is a app, that may have been compromised on uh, and and was moved on over to the new phone. Uh, that's an easy uh, enough um, entry point into uh, turning a phone into a, a walking uh, microphone and uh, camera uh, and so on. But uh, where I'm going with this was, I took that picture. I didn't post it anywhere. I got a uh, tweet at or a DM on my Blargy Paston or B L A R G Y P A S T O N account on Twitter saying nice proof of, 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 of post or whatever, proof of post or uh, directly uh, to me. Um, and so my belief 
of hackers being there um, and that resulting uh, you know perfectly executed and timed uh, can't in any way be a random coincidence at that point um, especially since I'm not talking to them I never knew this person and all the rest that goes into saying they just added me or, or DM me uh, on Twitter uh, which I didn't post the picture so uh, it stayed in in my phone the entire time uh, so it was uh, for me just validation and, and proof that of course there were hackers uh, that were seemingly uh, I don't really know how it happened if I'm being honest um, I started randomly talking to myself out loud and then uh, when someone would have a thought or or say something I'd respond like I do now and uh, it kind of blossomed from there uh, in a massive way, um, I had, like, this port thing changed for Unturned, or this old Steam game that, uh, was an indie game that, in order to play on, like, your local created server, you had to change your router to allow for porting or port forwarding or something uh, along the lines of that, um, and I forgot to switch it back if I'm being honest, uh, then it was like, well, they're, they're here, I wonder why the hell they're here, because uh, at the time, I was kind of streaming, and uh, trying to get out there, and see what I could do, uh, you know, uh, as a hobby, or possible career, or job, or something, um, and, and I just had a very hard time consistently making and keeping to a schedule, uh, which was the biggest issue, because uh, I got told I was pretty, oh, you know, I think charming or seemingly a decent entertainer, um, you know, uh, but then I, uh, again, you know, not always, and uh, had my issues too, and could definitely see the person I was then uh, becoming um, a larger influencer on Twitch streaming um, might have actually been a really bad thing because of my willingness to uh, allow for uh, my community to possibly solicit, you know, other viewers from other streams or um, it's other sh shit like this, which I, in every fucking way, feel embarrassed and regretting, uh, wholeheartedly these days, thinking anything like that was something acceptable, uh, I was just desperate, you know, not, a, not an excuse, not really anything other than, uh, well, it, that, that explains desperation, low self-esteem, and confidence, and, a very real lack of any kind of morals or ethical guidance outside of what is perceived to be done by already larger or large creators um, and was done in the past in the beginning of Justin.TV and beginning of YouTube too but is no longer socially uh, allowed and has changed obviously uh, even by that point so, um, you know, it's, it, it, then on top of it, I felt like maybe a controversy, which I could use and turn into a regionomics apology and change and grow a uh, possible, you know, uh, uh, brand or, you know, something from, from that, that point. Uh, showing and proving uh, to my community and others um, that uh, I did 
realize and 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 not want to continue uh, doing uh, that shit to people and being real dickish and mean and not uh, acceptable uh, behavior, you know, anymore. Um, uh, but uh, you know, it never panned out that way. So, anyways, uh, what I'm going to, to, to say is uh, that's oh, around the time I started getting weird glitches on my, my, my computer uh, and other computers uh, and the TV, too. I had a TV as a monitor in the, the computer room uh, that I mostly gamed or masturbated or did computer stuff on or uh, the TV out in the living room seemingly acting strange at one point the bluetooth speaker randomly turning on and connecting to some fucking phone that some kid had on on the bus that i heard drive past literally listening to all the kids uh talk and shit on the bus and i'm like what the fuck because i was wigging out i was high at the time but not like that high I never hallucinated fucking sounds, ever, like, not once, uh, well, kind of not once, um, there's some wiggle room in there in terms of my ears ringing, I have tinnitus, and get perceived as a doorbell ringing at times, or, um, someone in the house, uh, because of weird sounds, um, that ended up being the ticking clock, uh, that I could randomly just hear without hearing aids on now, extremely far away, um, and I can't hear clock, like, you could be uh, genuinely talking loud enough for it to be, uh, a very stern, if not whatever firm voice you want to call it, but it, it's, it's loud, you know, to an average individual, and if I don't have my hearing on, I can might still have to lean in to hear you only three feet away. So that's how bad my hearing is, and that's how crazy that situation was to me. That I was literally hearing the clock ticking without hearing it's on a solid 20, 30 feet away. That even when I was like maybe five to ten feet away, I, with my hearing aids on, uh, rarely, uh, heard the clock tick, which, um, was utterly weird at the time, but super cool, and it kind of freaked me out, I was kind of freaking just a little bit at the time, and I just kind of, like, calmed down, I chilled, so relaxed, and allowed it to pass, and everything, I had decent coping, uh, techniques, uh, and, 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 uh, methods at, at the time, uh, that were more or less just figure out a comfortable position and allow for the thought and emotions and feelings to run through or, uh, kind of imagine them flowing out of you or, or on and, and allowing for new emotions and new feelings and new thoughts and, uh, you know, focus on uh, uh, the new situation occurring instead of constantly ruminating about what just happened, which helped me out a lot at the time. Anyways, um, all of this is to basically say that uh, while I was high, I wasn't so high that that was in no way, shape, or form something that, uh, was different than what I heard, I definitely heard that speaker, that Bluetooth speaker doing that, like, I, it was, it was genuinely, that's what happened, um, and so hackers are there, uh, clearly, I also had, I had this program or some file I got from some torrenting site or something to turn my OEM uh, useful only one time 
Windows, I, I believe I had seven at the time, um, you know, key uh, into a now genuine key um, instead of a not genuine key, which uh, if anyone knows about this, uh, to any uh, various, you know, points of degrees of, of, of education on it, um, it's a kernel level thing or you know, it's digging it's 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 really getting in there whatever the fucking thing does which uh effectively means um or, or whatever how they were doing it again i never looked i just knew that it worked uh but it, that damn thing was probably a bot or like just straight up hacked immediately upon using it even if it did do that because uh right, you know, how hard would it be to do, yeah, exactly, and so then you get the, the, the TV, Vizio, uh, smart TV acting as a monitor that's connected to almost at no point uh, to the internet, because if I updated it or did something, it would ruin the overclock I had on the TV, and then randomly... I fucked up and connected to the internet to see what would happen. I don't really remember. The point is I connected to the internet at some point and wow, oh wow, did that motherfucker start suddenly feeling and giving off massive weird worm, you know, I don't know what the hell is going on vibes. Like, I swear as fuck, man, like that screen was being copied and sent somewhere to someone, uh, whatever the fuck happened, like, and that's a thing people can do, if you don't know, it's not just TVs, they can do it with monitors that are smart monitors that connect to the internet, and have a level of, uh, because, of course, the, the advertisers want to track uh, your advertising, and screen time, and viewing, and all the rest of it, and so your, your TVs can absolutely screen record uh, and it doesn't actually take that much to figure out a level of, you know, uh, dumping <laughs> of some malware or whatever to get the, the desirable screen recording uh, going. Um, but again, uh, again, all conjecture, no real direct, uh, for sure, but, you know, with the later on, uh, situation involving my phone, I just have a really hard time believing that they wouldn't be able to, um, especially when I later learned how incredibly far they can go, uh, to listen, or record, or key log, or, uh, and it, it's all remote too. Yeah, it's it, that's that's one of the bigger parts of it. Um, and even uh, use a infected uh, router uh, such that um, it's it's uh, acting as a terminal for traffic that is uh, not your traffic or IP address or uh, similar to that effect and might even be doing its best to hide the, uh, you know, use of it, uh, and, um, all that that's going on with it, so, uh, then my mom having a massive habit of installing bad or just straight up I, I believe it would be just straight malware uh, with a possible question mark use um, for various apps or browser fucking add-ons. I don't know, man. My, my younger sister and my mom both had serious habits of installing just straight up crap that was almost certainly a keylogger, or screen recorder, or malware in general, 
uh, onto their devices that slowed their computer down and then they'd call me over to fix it. And uh, I had to go through the excruciating process of asking what was allowed and not allowed to be deleted and or uh, moved and so on um, with them every time. But uh, that's a genuine thing that can contribute to their uh, ability to access uh, in a um, non-obvious uh, and uh, possibly um, very significant way for the camera, the uh, microphones, the on on the, the Chromebook, uh, the tablet or the phone that she had. There's the uh, web camera that later came around uh, that was just meant to be a pet camera that connected kind of to the web and had a terribly easily broken password um, that was effectively the router's password, which they had possibly been already uh, fully um, uh, in control of at, at that point, I, I would imagine. Um, the TV uh, as well was a smart TV. They just recently purchased an LG smart TV. That is the one I have with me now. Uh, it's survived all these uh, different um, moves and, and, and so on. But uh, it no longer connects to the internet. Um, I have attempted my ass off to get it to connect to the internet. It does not. But the Roku uh, has a microphone on its remote and a speaker, which uh, was connected directly to, uh, along with the TV, the TV being Wi-Fi, the Roku being a direct Ethernet cable, um, both of which have uh, various ways should a person apparently uh, want to intrude and uh, listen in or something like this um, they, they can do that uh, with um, some effort but uh, it's always kind of weird that um, it's genuinely not as much effort as people who know what they're doing uh, make it uh, you know, uh, people, uh, the people who don't know what they're, they're doing make it out to be, is what I wanted to say, um, because the people that do know what they're doing, um, fucking wow, are very good at it, so, uh, and don't really need a rhyme or reason to just kind of dick around with almost anyone, it's kind of how the, the, the celebrity leak uh, you know, of all those pictures ended up happening thanks to a uh, breach within security and uh, password and uh, more of the iPhone, you know, server that holds their pictures. Some, some of it being also Google Photos. So, uh, anyways, and, and that was a relatively easy, um, but still, uh, from what I'm to understand, uh, I don't uh, know how to place a real uh, amounts of validity or stock or whatever you want to call it in, into what I've uh, either read or heard about. Uh, anecdotally, so again, grains of salt, but a uh, Roku or a smart TV, a uh, compromised computer, or something that, like that, uh, you know, genuine thing, apparently is uh, very easy to do um, and allows for a great deal of access, especially uh, with the router and um, 
other possible avenues of device uh, in, intrusion on phones um, as, as well. Uh, so it is very likely I was being constantly listened uh, to um, or at least reasonable to assumed recorded uh, around that time uh, should someone just felt they wanted to and maybe listen to the highlights or whatever. I don't know. Point is, I was literally, uh, genuinely doing lots of screenplays, acting, uh, di directing myself, you know, weirdly enough, right, as an actor to try and hit certain you know, emotions or, you know, uh, styles of acting to portray and, and, and get out a level of uh, perception of a belief of emotion or so on and so forth. But uh, I had some basic bitch drama class stuff that I, I got told a time or two I was pretty good at. Um, but it fell off uh, when my depression and um, overall anxiety and stress about my parents entering uh, in and uh, the genuine fear of them being seen as good and me being seen as bad uh, entering my space uh, that felt safe at the time. But uh, I'm going to move on from that. So I don't have a lot, but I got... Uh, a few posts or usernames, you know, 4chan, random stuff, uh, directly, seemingly directly at least, uh, but, I mean, come on, uh, when you talk and say something, and then uh, a minute or two later, a post is brand spankingly new on the board uh, that directly references what I was asking or talking about, I uh, kind of have a hard time um, viewing it in, in any way other than um, a direct kind of communication that wouldn't be very easily seen or even believed uh, there um, by a good amount of the general public um, and those that are know a uh, little more um, in other possible paramilitary or government or just, you know, decent, you know, uh, individuals uh, who knew it, their shit and, and a thing or two um, would be able to do it with uh, not that as much um, of a... I guess, uh, inability, or if you know what apparently can be done, it becomes all too easily believable. Um, even if you're paranoid, uh, schizoaffective, uh, you know, on, 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 on the, the, the reefer madnesses, psychosis binges, you know, whatever have yous going on, but, um, uh, you know, um, still it, 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 it's, uh, kind of gaslighty when it's that literal, uh, you didn't see and you were, uh, wrong and, or you took a coincidence that happened repeatedly for months and, and eventually, uh, after, uh, Point and actually it still happens now at times um, so almost uh, like a decade that'd be seven eight years or some shit uh, it's been going on so um, it's it's a highly feasible even before the tech we have now uh, thing um, that 
uh, I didn't uh, actually know what to do at the time. Uh, my, again, still genuine belief is the FBI can't fucking do anything to help because uh, they're stealing uh, supposed intellectual creative ideas and uh, business uh, ideas and products that could be manufactured and created, sold uh, to the public that, you know, stuff like this, or very real screenplays that were later um, seen by myself, uh, put up on Netflix, Hulu, other anime things, um, th that one just doesn't seem to slow down, it's still happening, It's it's been quite a few years, I did a extremely large amount of, of work on a lot of it, and I mean a lot of that, uh, and it's not completely out of the realm of possibility of um, their willingness to kind of funnel money and launder it uh, through these uh, entertainment and or business uh, endeavors uh, should they be selling drugs to people or I guess hacking people's accounts and just taking money or whatever the fuck they do I don't know point is, is it's very likely that they could be given these scripts uh, as a this is what you're going to work on kind of thing and the industry doesn't really really uh, really let that out that is going on um, in, in, in it uh, but uh, we, we know of uh, people that are uh, uh, individuals who write songs for uh, many um, uh, people, uh, pop artists, uh, country music artists, so on and so forth. Um, and it turned out that that actually isn't as impossible or as uncommon as you might believe it to be uh, for especially with the stack of screenplays and um, someone's willing to pay or willing to hack their computer to show it off or have a connection or something, you know. Um, and they, they've got a way to get it going. Seen and green lit and the thing is uh, going to be made and 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 uh, turned into an actual um, you know consumable content uh, of which I did the heavy fucking lifting for the the camera angles, the literal scripts for all the actors and actresses, um, uh, words, uh, not to mention their, uh, you know, ways to act, the s scenery and what I wanted it to s uh, symbolize, depending on, uh, of course, how really into it uh, I got for whatever genre I wanted to do uh, for that given day or week. Um, sometimes I could knock out a few um, uh, entire uh, seasons in a couple of days or weeks um, while taking breaks to focus on my scientific uh, knowledge pursuit and uh, physics pursuit at the time um, that I was doing this. Um, so, uh, anyways, uh, I tried my best, um, amateur, I mean it, uh, 
I mean, it, I think Arrested Development was the kind of first big, big one. Like, there was a shit ton that didn't manage to ever be seen or heard. or uh, And it's for good damn reason, because they sucked. And they were terrible, uh, if I'm being honest. <laughs> they, they, they were... So, so, I mean, doesn't everybody get better over time? But, um, uh, yeah, um, there's, uh, Stranger Things, there's, dude, I, I couldn't even get into it. I'm not even gonna lie. To take, like, half or a good majority of the content you're watching on some of the major, like, Disney Plus, Hulu, Netflix, uh, some of the YouTube things, weirdly enough, uh, also got included into that. Um, so that's a thing. Um, then there's uh, other shit. I don't. I mean, I. I, I mean, legitimately, I could throw a dart uh, with a poster of all of their their shit, and I'd probably land on one thing or another that uh, I. Uh, either completely did everything and they just got handed a full script to go with, I'm assuming, uh, or uh, were given general talking ideas and points and, and uh, similar and helped guided, quotation marks, towards pretty much exactly the same script. To uh, even other uh, instances uh, in which I did a good deal or decent amount of work, but um, couldn't get back into it or interested into uh, the story, genre, whatever it happened to be, and was dealing with other connected or life going on situations uh or general like fucking mood problems and instability um thanks to a lot of what my mother was doing uh to me and my and my dad uh with her, her drinking and gambling addictions and full swing uh, on top of uh, no longer wanting or accepting or in any way being uh, at all okay and even in any way consenting to uh, these things being taken, but because it was already off and, and happening, I had to try and figure out a way to, like, turn it into something um, and get some kind of control over it uh, and, and lie and say I was okay with it, because, I, I mean, it clearly wasn't, like, I don't care what anyone says, it's, it's, it's obvious he was never okay, and he got basically backed into a corner and had to say it consistently, that's true, I did, yeah, and if anything, it exposes the shit out of the network that, um, is their tightly wound group of, connected individual in a different way, not mentally connected, but more, uh, you know, phone and all the rest of that shit, that uh, it's a very inbred, uh, people, uh, have many people they go to, to talk and, 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 and figure out and, and get the word or okay, or whatever else, um, for the people involved and, in the entertainment industry in general. So, it uh, wasn't actually that difficult to come across as someone, you know, um, I would imagine, you know, uh, and so I put my best efforts into acting and pretending like a, a, a person I would assume would fit right in, and uh, could possibly directly deliver, or whatever it was, um, and uh, weirdly, but not so weirdly, if you're really being honest with all of yourselves, 
well, how do you know? That's actually something that did kind of happen. At least later on in the news when some shit went down. Seemingly. <laughs> it came out that there's this person they don't know. Or I don't give a shit. I don't care anymore. The point uh, I uh, want to uh, really kind of hone in and, and, and get to uh, and, and be... Uh, made more aware was I freaked the fuck out I was in in every way uh tail spiraling my life was already in shambles with my family um I was getting increasingly more paranoid psychotic um uh worse uh mentally emotionally psychologically spiritually with the meditation I I I had an extremely hard time doing it. I was in a fight and a battle, it seemed like, with multiple games or shit that seemed all too real and all too very likely to be a thing in the future. As uh, I've stated um, in some of my other stuff, uh, either predicted or uh, something... Um, with some quantum happenstance uh, helped to sort of guide, I guess, uh, the likelihood of some of these things happening. Um, or it's just predicted. I don't know. Honestly, I, I wish I could give you definitives. I don't have certain definitives. I don't have any of that. But what I'll tell you is it uh, is all too real for the people that were back uh, then involved and a part of whatever was going on because uh, it's still happening and it is a fucking trip to always see either verbatim uh, YouTube videos or more um, TV or other content that pops up that's uh, my idea or script or acting out there's science and technology uh, and um, more involved uh, as, as well as studies somehow got funded uh, or approved or directly um, focused on I wouldn't doubt that these smart as fuck PhDs and some of them knowing about a thing or two is is possible. I would say they're the hackers. Uh, it's, it's just that um, it's kind of hard. I wish I could have saved like literally every one of them, but I don't think my phone could literally... Maybe I have a 128 gigabyte phone now. Might have been able to do it. Anyways, uh, but I have actually saved a few for sure that um, I talked about in the past uh, that later sprang up um, and were uh, directly in line with what my hypothesis and prediction of the uh, results would be on, on top of uh, uh, more... Uh, in terms of um, computer technology or new laser scanning and or detector technology, uh, energy recovery systems, uh, cooling, uh, powerful styles of engine, um, designs, uh, it's just kind of uh, all over the place. And uh, that, I feel, should highlight the level of incredible... Uh, if anybody could ever truly believe the released recordings that I know have come out multiple times at this point uh, to various individuals. Um, but... Uh, show off that I got shit right when I had no business uh, knowing it was right or 
uh, was in any way uh, PhD level or multiple PhDs uh, scientifically studying these phenomenon or nature things or engineering things or science, you know, it's an incredibly mind altering. If you were to ever look into all the things I, uh, basically made a sure thing, I, I guess, because they became funded, uh, and sought after to be in a bet with the hacker and groups they're in, uh, to see, uh, if it would turn out to be right or wrong. And, um, more than often, uh, the majority of the time, I'm, I'm very right about, uh, things, it turns out, on that side of, of, of the goings on, but, um, that, and, uh, now there's a growing, resenting, uh, situation, um, involving people believing studies to be inaccurately done, and having a conclusion wherein a bias or otherwise is uh, uh, either left out or included improperly for their resulting conclusions of a social sciences uh, study or... Um, uh, psychological study or other things, um, uh, from what I can, uh, make out, uh, there's a lot of, uh, people that are, I guess it's monetary for a lot of them, uh, it's kind of their thing that they get off to or enjoy, but, uh, it's a little bit more because they want to make sure I, it's correctly, I think at, at, at there a certain point, if they're involved with these these people, that they would have been getting jealous and angry about this supposed fucking mega genius in the background that's pointing this this <laughs> somehow some way funding or helping point people towards you know uh, studies that. Um, uh, have their, um, work already pretty much done, uh, and testing methodology done, and, uh, the tools and techniques laid out and, and discussed, uh, alongside of, uh, a lot, uh, more, um, turn out to be, uh, just run through, and it's, it got the exact results, uh, that were hypothesized, or very, very close to, um, with a fucking stupidly weird accuracy, uh, degree, uh, after so many times, um, you would think someone's fucking with you, with some super hacking, or super planet, or super computer thingy, you know, um, or some massive, ginormous group of mathematical, predictive, and, and uh, you know, uh, people, you know, mathematicians, and analysts, uh, uh, worked, working on th those exact uh, studies, um, and then, uh, to find out and, and do the, enough digging that it's literally just a person who is seriously mentally ill, lives in, uh, a housing facility and, and, um, is, uh, um, 
obviously still going on and talking to people that are still listening in at times that did this uh, at the height of his um, t- most significantly terrible moments in his life uh, on top of doing all that he could do to uh, provide amazing things uh, to other geniuses that they uh, have um, respect, but obviously more uh, as well. There's there's anger and frustration and other feelings of insecurity there. I would imagine um, that's that's a thing that everybody kind of goes through. I think. Um, but, uh, the, the person's had a literal garbage life after the spiral started occurring, in which he predicted and had somehow lost the memory of, but I wouldn't say it somehow anymore at this point. I have no clue what the fuck is going on with all this. So, something's happening, um, uh, somehow. Uh, it's real, it, it has to be real, um, sorry, that one sucks for a lot of people, but I am real, it is real, I am, uh, Blargy Paston, or Blargy Paston, depending on your, uh, accent, um, the, the correct pronunciation is Blargy Paston, or, uh, Xenon Reality Color, or Xenon Reality, there's ADHD Polygamist, um, there's, uh, various online personas, um, but my real name is John Tyler, and, uh, you can call me that. That would be preferable. Uh, I'd give you my last name, but doxing myself is not something I really want to do. Uh, again, <laughs> you know, for, like, how many damn times at this point, uh-huh. But, um, all of that is true. All of what I stated that happened in the past is something that really occurred and I went through and felt and experienced and, uh, was seeing mentally in my mind's eye and, or was somehow interacting, uh, to varying degrees of success or, severity, I guess, um, to even more planted suggestions or thoughts, um, I don't really fully grasp the mentalist games they may have played on people to get those things to, to go on, or straight up, like, literal brain-to-brain weird interactions going on, <laughs> um, which, again, seems far-fetched to believe in any capacity. Uh, and yet, um, if I hadn't experienced it, and still do, uh, and have ruled out uh, too often at this point, after the years uh, of daily, continuous, never-ending resurface of memories that uh, I um, talked about, uh, direct conversations or, uh, statements that were about the apartment I'm living in, the, the, uh, content I watched on the TV, number of times masturbated, um, conversations with the, the appointments and, or people, uh, around me that I, uh, have or will have or could have. Um, it just gets extreme. If you look at the, and listen to the recordings, it's, uh, well, there's some missing, uh, dates and times, um, so, you know, try your best, I guess. (laughs) Don't know what to tell you. Uh, I wasn't really recording. I I was super shy, low self-esteem, low confidence guy, 
that in every way believed uh, everybody hated and it was going to be nothing but a person to be envious and jealous of and invalidate their experiences thanks to this perceived uh, notion and idea of their um, level of uh, intelligence uh, on top of their um, perceived, uh, you know, beauty, I guess, at that point, um, height, uh, at the time, much more eloquent than I am now, um, and all the rest of it, I was on that shit, I was doing a lot to keep myself maintained, and going strong, and hard, and well, uh, fat lot of good it did, uh, especially once a certain point was reached, and these fucking change it seemed to just be me getting worse overall towards um, and no longer allowing for any real conversation to happen, especially since I had gotten so obviously fucked over um, and uh, made into what is effectively a cash cow printing machine that everything steals from. And it's been going on for a very, very long time. And there is a possibility of some other versions of time travel going on um, with the, the whole brain thing and or super advanced aliens that decide to just kind of go, yeah, no, we could tell you we're here, but nah. And uh, kind of want to just fuck around and see what what's going to happen. Because, you know, if you see us, it's a problem. And, like, then we can't directly observe and study you. So, or whatever the fuck their reasons are. Um, we could be entertaining TV for them for all we know. Although I feel uh, during some of my mental exploration... Uh, and astral projection and instances and, and so on. Uh, I may have contacted with, uh, with someone. Um, that one's kind of a weird one. Um, that one's kind of a weird one where I just sort of noticed something. You know, like your sixth sense when you notice that someone's looking at you? You know, that kind of thing? That's kind of what it sprang up from. I was like, what the fuck? Why are you looking at me right there? And I could get, like, this kind of weird uh, visual outline of, like, a window and some people in it looking. But uh, no, it's no, not even, like, warped, you know, space or time, nothing like that. More like, uh, like, floaties, but very weak floaties in your eyes or something. You know, kind of something like that. Uh, where it's it's not really like an overlay or whatever, but it's it's certainly like if you were to concentrate real hard, you could kind of see it's there, um, which stands to reason because apparently we have proteins that emit some quantum fucking doohickery shit uh, and possibly uh, interact with our retinas. Uh, maybe I'm a special person that somehow gained um, the necessary components to have that interaction occur, like with the birds that do something like that, that apparently can see our uh, magnetosphere and, and use that to navigate, is what we hypothesize. Um, there could be something there. I, I don't know. I've never been tested. Don't know. Could just be a, a mental thing, and where the the mind's eye imagination started to leak into the visual uh, processing of the brain. Could be both. So I don't know. Uh, all I know is that uh, they're still around. There's a, quite a few of them, if I'm being honest. Still around. 
Um, which is kind of a scary thought because it's like, how do you explain to a physicist or a scientist of any kind to take any of this with some legitimacy or validity to it? Uh, which is to obviously state um, what well, apparently we have uh, as a possibility of natural detection or processing or some quantum interaction or all the above or even more that it could be uh, as well that I'm not even aware of or and you guys are or you're not aware of as well um, uh, allowing for some form of a detection um, and a decent enough connection, I guess, somehow, for uh, a level of communication to occur. And um, that wouldn't be too hard for advanced civilizations to just straight up talk directly inside your, your brain. I would imagine that would be kind of simple to do for them, um, you know, you wouldn't even have to get to omega levels for anything like that, we're talking interstellar, uh, maybe slightly more, I would imagine, for their level of technology, they would need to kind of tickle and play around with, and as a result, express uh, a level of chemical interaction or or uh, the electro uh, stimulation um, to have the correct pattern uh, happen for word or image or thought or change of emotion and all the rest uh, to be played around with. Uh, which, again, it wouldn't be, even for us, uh, if we work on it and get to some of these higher uh, scales, um, could do ourselves um, with reasonable um, accuracy and efficiency. So is it not without the realm of... Uh, of it's not within our scope of ability, and yet uh, that literally means nothing to some, something that um, has achieved a level past us, um, that has decided to remain far more... Uh, hidden from from view um, for all but uh, whatever reasons or whatever it is that they happen to decide to start talking to people or certain individuals or interact or decide to increase or decrease level of violence or I don't know, man, like, again, they're totally able to play around with us, and there's no way you can really kind of um, stop them, you know, uh, or even if we're being really honest, uh, unfortunately, um, be able to detect anything with any of our sensors we've built uh, so far. Um, seeing as how we don't have like real time quantum uh, protein or processing from the our brain or a cool antenna quantum antenna circuitry that could be happening in combination with electromagnetic, you know, 
radio wave frequency. So, so there's a lot there in our fucking brains alone that very likely to be occurring, or at the very least, something is is going on there. So that feasibly makes uh, it very difficult to replicate and or uh, tune or copy or uh, f- figure out a way to make something similar for um, a regular machine to try and detect uh, things like this, and yet, what did I give you? Like, quantum, like, gravity detectors at that point um, that should be able to see them fairly accurately, too, especially with the amplification uh, design that can be attached to it with either plasma or lasers or both uh, that uh, have an interaction with one of the smaller detectors uh, to be increased uh, for its overall effect to uh, be noticed um, by these detectors um, or reverse as well can it can be there anyways I don't want to get too deep into it but um, it, it's still a concept design that takes a great deal of effort and money to be invested in in, in creating. So, if, and if it works, it would be a massive help for almost everything I could think of. In many ways, I'm probably not even seeing uh, as of yet, truthfully. Because it's a generator, too. Yeah, no, it, it generates from um, the gravitational buzz, you know, the, 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 the spin, uh, that's going on with our, our, uh, earth, it creates a turbulence, uh, and, you know, ups and downs that increase or decrease gravity and, um, can, uh, effectively generate a electron or another interaction, um, via, uh, specialized, um, materials created specifically for uh, a effectively um, conversion of this compression and uh, kind of vibrational uh, change, slow down, compression, whatever you kind of want to call it. Uh, my, my viewpoint is that it simply just um, a, uh, kind of compression and, or wiggle or jiggle that is, uh, very definably, uh, seen differently, uh, by the sensor, depending on if it was a vibrational, uh, a ground vibrational as well, or a, uh, regular gravitational, uh, instance of um, energy uh, moving through it, which should always have uh, some degree uh, of movement. Um, But of course you have the torsional, whatever you want to call it, effects of moon and and sun and the rest of the planets and the Earth's rotation, all of that comes into play, so, you know, it's effectively a noise it's a generator. I, I designed it as a generator. If you didn't know, I've repurposed it as a detector, but it's a generator first and foremost. It was literally only made in every capacity and way to make gobs of electricity from simple anything. Vibration, uh, light, because it'll jiggle it enough, or wiggle it enough, or gravity interactions and and so on and so forth uh at a small uh nano kind of near atomic scale to produce uh, electricity in a meaningful capacity that could be uh, 
successfully uh, utilize in some lo yeah vehicle or TV house you know energy thing you know there's, there's a good number of uses but you know same thing with like it can be uh, added into road systems and networks or uh, buildings or uh, heat generators or geothermal heat generator because of course and in, in, it's in the ground which vibrates constantly and has heating and cooling and so that's what I originally designed it for is for one of my heat generator uh, geothermal uh, generators uh, concepts designs that is uh, well updated since I last talked about it but I don't know I'm kind of just like it's good enough for what it is it's 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 good enough like honestly it's I don't uh, see a reason to be too overly critical um, especially when it's like with this, you know, generator, you know, gravity, uh, you know, basic comp kind of generator it is, it can significantly increase the power output of the design um, from materials being involved with it. So, I say it's okay and good enough to go, you know, and easy enough to deploy, um, which is my main selling point. The main selling point is it's easy to deploy this anywhere uh, within a reason, you know, uh, based upon the the rock and ground that you're trying to drill into with the oil rigs <laughs> on top of, uh, you know, the various environmental conditions that are around the uh, generator too, which... Sorry about that. So, anyways, it's a, a big deal um, for the, you know, where you pick and choose. But, uh, of course, uh, it's like, oh, yeah, but windmills, totally. And uh, I, I don't see why we wouldn't put a fan shroud around them now. Because that's solar panels. Uh, and it, that's... Uh, a lot more generation of, of electricity, so, eh, why not, you know, but then, I don't know, man, <laughs> anyways, I want to move on from that, because it's like, that, that's a more recent design, but I also talked about it in the past, uh, as well, um, maybe not as much out loud, but I gave them hints that around these dates and times, I would be bringing it up. So people tuned in around that point in time, and uh, what do you know, I then had it presented and talked about. So that's a weird one, because I actually uh, don't have recollection, you know often of that until the time of or just before or just after that's that's all i get with my memories that's that's it there's there's i think i had it get set up or i wanted it to be that way i don't know anymore because it's like self-hypnotism but then it's like that's incredibly impossible amounts of memory storage uh, that would be perfect for for six fucking years, and but then you don't have any memory for anything else. So it's just, it's like nah, most likely something that we're uh, discounting, but uh, allowing to be uh, something that possibly uh, is true or legitimate. It just can't be tested right now. Um, for aliens, uh, what do they do? I mean, honestly, my versions are a similar thing to like a window kind of thing, and they just kind of like you're in like a. It's a good way to put that. Um, a, 
like a study, like they're behind a glass window or whatever, just with a clipboard. Uh, the clipboard has been an actual thing sometimes. Uh, but just imagine it like that. Um, you know, person or a couple people, you know, scribbling and, and writing what they observe inside of the room they're looking through. And that's uh, essentially what um, they're doing. Uh, so, uh, but then there's multiple uh, of, and not them specifically, multiple different races and turned into a bit of a, ah, I'm getting looked at by a lot of things, I guess. But um, for me, it's kind of not really all that fun. You would think it would be f something I would want or whatever. In reality, it's just because they fucked up the experiment and it got out to what it was they were doing to us and allowing to uh, occur um, and be influenced uh, significantly towards uh, incorrect and bad uh, data and science or beliefs or philosophies um, in which they took the, uh, apparently great effort to not be caught but the evidence is still very much uh, there and easily seen by them uh, of them interfering and and uh, ultimately for all the hard work effort and money spent uh, invalidated literally all of uh, whatever quote-unquote experiment, uh, even though, from what I can tell, uh, nobody has any recollection of an experiment being allowed, signed, uh, approved, whatever you want to go with, but I think it was just something they told me to make themselves uh, seem better than just having created uh, a universe or a world or a weird dimensional connection of some kind uh, they have yet to explain that one in any meaningful reasonable uh, way that I could believe what it is they are they're saying or uh, attempting to ha have me believe somehow um, when multiple other alien races came forward and including their own species, uh, stating no one knew about this and it was really bad that they did it and it was not good what's going on. Uh, and, uh, a lot of you need, uh, help and repayment and all the rest of this for pain and suffering and shit like that endured. Uh, however, uh, we're in a bit of a pickle and a conundrum because uh, a shit ton of fuckers, including their asses, uh, have been decidedly pretending to be god or goddesses at various stages and points uh, during our evolution and uh, creation of civilization and so on, on top of, which they're not, they're just advanced fucking beings with technology above us, but then every time I think about it, I'm like, they're not that far above us, truthfully, if I think about that, I'm like, I could probably get there in like 30, 50 years, something like that, you know, with my, my tech, if I had the funding and the appropriate people with me, all together working towards uh, these goals, it is totally achievable uh, within our lifetimes, so, um, it's, I just want to move on from that. It, but anyways, uh, a lot of people stole my uh, uh, screenplays, uh, science, uh, businesses, uh, business designs, products. There's a lot that continually gets added to that list, seemingly. Uh, and they all, uh, these original ones I, I met, or seem to have met, were um, the main culprits and helping uh, kind of that in towards the, the past 
uh, um, that we have some historical evidence to suggest, uh, even though I've never read anything about it or should have known at all about any of it, or even where any of this was buried or stored, or and it's all been coming out uh, that it uh, is is accurate and and right and truly there. And so there's there's a enough uh, in those recordings to suggest uh, some form of uh, time travel has been achieved by them. Or perhaps even me, or us in general, you know, uh, if, uh, I mean, a lot of people don't really try, and how do you go about doing it was a whole endeavor of it in and of itself to learn, if I'm honest, in the past, uh, uh, and I still wouldn't suggest um, that being the correct way of uh, your brain being uh, able to interpret what um, it senses and feels um, in some weird uh, way um, or not weird you have enough of an idea I guess just now that I know how much shit you went through dude <laughs> do I really want to? And it's like, I gotta be real honest, uh, no. The answer is no. The answer is legitimately no. And you can call it keeping it for myself. Uh, sure, I, I suppose you can believe that, but it, that's not the case. I'm being just honest with this individual that asks uh, that kind of question. I, I wouldn't recommend it after going through it, and I'm currently still going through it, no, I, I wouldn't recommend it. It's not worth it, and all it has managed to accomplish is create a massive, never-ending suffering and pain for my life and what's going on in, in my life. So uh, I wouldn't recommend uh, doing it at all. Uh, that being said... Um, Many people have decided to go against recommendations of someone who happens to have some experience uh, and legit legitimacy to the experience, uh, and, and unlike many others, uh, have uh, tried to come out and say that they they did or do. It could still be very uh, real, um, just they don't have the evidence uh, thanks to a great deal of circumstances that seem to come together quite well for that to be there. Well, you know, ho hopefully that was by a good person doing that, either myself or someone else, honestly, uh, planning and, 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 and wanting this to occur and manipulating the situation such that uh, it died and it continued and will never stop occurring uh, to such a point in every way feasible and possible. You can't ignore it. Uh, it, it would drive you insane to ignore that level of uh, impossibly, like with your with my own damn self, yes, yeah, uh, noticeable and too numerous to be pure coincidence. Um, occurring, it's 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 too unlikely. Something is going on, and and what's uh, happening. So something has to be uh, uh, finally accepted into um, testing that must be done in a way that actually means 
more than uh, a fake college try, so to speak, uh, towards uh, figuring it out uh, instead of um, like legitimately seeming uh, to find some way of detecting the detection going on or and this is where all those indirect direct methodologies I started trying to come up with for detection of um, something without the, the need to cool it down to an absolute zero state or near absolute zero state to get a extremely precise possibly with enough time and uh, refinement uh, a design that may even provide a very sickeningly, sickeningly very too real and 100% certainly accurate position and, and energy and um, all the rest for uh, a some subatomic particle uh, would, would likely be our first uh, trial uh, or giving it the, the old college try legitimately uh, in that that instance, because uh, uh, it's kind of um, sort of a very important step if you were to try and and go on uh, attempting some measurement of these things going on um, uh, precisely enough to be. Um, feeling uh, the results and tests uh, came back um, conclusively uh, towards a suggestion of um, it really is occurring to it is not really occurring and could be attributed to these other mental disorders uh, effects being amplified from our surrounding um, situations, uh, whatever it could be, um, it's, it's a hodgepodge of, of if a brain really seemingly has become either through training or already was from the start uh, more sensitive uh, or uh, amplifying the uh, detection signal or both or something else um, that uh, most or um, perhaps it's just not noticed and uh, understood significantly uh, currently right now by us and what to look out for uh, and might be a very real reason why we have this odd sensation um, typically on the back of our necks, of someone staring at us, or where uh, they might be staring at us from. Um, you could answer the age-old mystery as to why some people are better at it than others, and or uh, going even further, uh, why um, there are individuals that are extremely... Um, skillful in, in using that uh, seemingly as a uh, entirely new um, trusted sense uh, to find and or hone in on individual people or animals or the like um, with uh, less environmental stress factors are reasons to hone the skill now so it might be dwindling 
on us. Maybe it could be more than that. Honestly, that's just one suggestion. Personally, I don't think it'll go very far, but it's likely to show something, uh, which is why it's like a start, I guess, for looking um, indirectly at uh, what may be going on in there. Um, other than that, uh, I don't really know what to say because uh, it's it's a lot of uh, possibility and hypothesis or theoretical physics going on uh, joining a, together and creating an effect very noticeable um, to someone either having done um, some work in figuring out uh, the um, information or understanding of that information being presented or uh, something more like the brain just evolved the habit or together both I have to pee so Well, I talked about it, a possible way of uh, allowing for a entangled superpositional uh, situation of um, uh, stored, you know, thoughts or ideas or memories in, inside of your brain. Okay, now, granted, we think of ours as looping um, uh, uh, links, you know, chains or whatever that are uh, consistently rotating and, uh, you know, popping off various uh, amounts of, um, uh, you know, continued f neuronal firings uh, and, and loops to, uh, or movements of uh, patterns in, in our brains to form uh, memories. And um, uh, it's rather space efficient, considering one neuron could be used for multiple different memories. Um, if we're being realistic about it, it can be pretty efficient. Uh, the 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 main issue is that uh, upon the very uh, possible and needs to be further explored and. Um, uh, figured out just how deep the supposed rabbit hole of uh, quantum uh, interactions or systems are uh, going on inside of our brains 
uh, our neurons uh, and all the rest that is inside of our skulls uh, and, and even the uh, chance if some may uh, some may not though uh, have a similar to the bird pathology of a protein in their eyes uh, as maybe their protein in their uh, bodies uh, or nerves to experience hallucinatory like uh, syndromes um, uh, sensations and, and body touch uh, which may actually be uh, something that depending if we're being honest because uh, I don't have a good way of um, cons- I don't know of a testing uh, design that we could come up with in any massively uh, high degree of uh, certainty um, for patients experiencing uh, s- symptoms um, to uh, be able to use um, as a marker or test for the viability of these sensations being, um, and there we go again, right? Yeah, breakdown of neurons, a neurodegenerative disorder, a, uh, you know, schizophrenic or psychosis, uh, like symptomology in which has hallucination, physical, tactile, smell, taste, sensations added to it, to, um, uh, a combination of all of that, and, or even an underlying, uh, neuronal, uh, issue, genetically, or proteins, or something going on, uh, uh, as a possibility, uh, that that's, uh, happening, or is being heavily um, influenced by these other things that are a little more sci-fi and out there. Uh, however, still uh, have some validity uh, in terms of the the logic and reason behind them. Um to uh, further that discussion uh, could be a combination of both uh, the sci-fi e alien whatever realm and a bunch of uh, mental disorders uh, together um, which could probably make it a lot easier for them to um sort of have these symptoms uh, happen in a meaningful capacity at one point, uh, but then it is no longer uh, needed or necessary for them. So it's going on to non-meaningful capacities, and that could literally have been the one and only moment that occurred uh, for the remainder of, of all of your uh, other issues that um, happened proceeding forward. Uh, I'm lucky in that um, I can say so far we're going on eight years, and if we really count my uh, earliest memories of starting to see these weird coincidences and uh, uh, more happening... Um, it's been most of my life, most of my life, most of my legitimate having any amount of memory to even, uh, go back to, uh, has had some form or fashion of these 
random coincidences that are just too often too exacting to uh, continuously uh, reoccurring uh, at um, that level to believe after a certain point uh, it's just pure random or even uh, certain degrees of similar thinking adding to the likely possibility and chance of a exact replica of thought in mind or what you said out loud to yourself alone at some point um, and so on uh, and it gets increasingly more and more unlikely and for the individual that continues to think that way uh, I, I feel in my perspective that uh, it would be extremely um, wrong and unacceptable uh, to view them in something uh, that is um, better than uh, near delusional levels of denial. Um, especially with, let's just go into the last six years, uh, with the two years of it starting to ramp up drastically and significantly. Now it's an everyday constant occurrence throughout the entirety of the day. And even my dreams are involved, although, I, you know, that's... Uh, fuck you, because how can you measure dreams? So I kind of usually don't add that one in, but, you know, or hardly at all talk about it, because I feel like it's kind of irrelevant to, to the scope of your recordings. And, But yes, the dreams I say to make are very much those dreams I am having, which I typically either remember inside the dream or upon waking up, and then randomly talking to voice or connected something or other, um, which is also a possibility that's highly likely at this point and kind of extremely weird to not acknowledge as a, actually more, more than likely uh, more legitimate um, uh, and and happening for real um, over a voice uh, which is jumbled up neurons firing and getting interpreted as a voice some some form or fashion somewhere else within your brain thinking uh, about something which at times it does do this so I, I recognize that it does randomly do that so it's just you get good at being able to filter and uh, notice what is yours and not, and what seems to be moving or has its own identity or has its own stuff like this um, going on with it. Um, and sometimes they mimic you incredibly well, but a good obvious uh, is it feels like it's coming from outside of you. Uh, even if it feels like it's coming from inside of you, that's not where your identity is inside your head. So that doesn't make sense. So, like, it's a thing. Anyways, the thing is, it's just a fuck with me. I mean, they're, they're advanced level fucking people, you know what I mean? Some of them are trying to help. Some of them are just trying to fuck with people, uh, if we're being honest, because not a fucking single person will ever believe it, ever be able to prove it for a long time to come, and you in no way can punish them. 
and if we're being honest, uh, depending on your ideas about the person or their actions or whatever, um, uh, I could see a lot of people that are humans, not the advanced civilizations, uh, getting a hold of that degree of ability and power and definitely doing similar, if not even worse things than they may be doing. So take that for what you will. Um, but again, it's, it's all, uh, conjecture. It's, it's, it's a hypothesis, um, hard to test, takes time, um, on top of all the reveal things that are going on in the world these days. And my knowledge of whatever the hell is coming um, in terms of like this great impending doom and how real that might or might not be to the me of the past uh, genuinely being uh, correct and deciding to uh, kind of flex uh, his his muscles and make sure he doesn't end up in a worse way than he did before uh, thanks to some mistakes or uh, otherwise, um, but it's it's quite obvious and clear. There are things that are um, either connected as just regular humans, aliens, possibly, or combination. There's of course the other organizations and 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 goings on with other individuals uh, that. could be a part of it, or could not, um, it's all very hard to put together, and, uh, it's not easy when they take great effort and pain and being, uh, less than, uh, open about any of it, and anyway, so, uh, and there's that, yeah, the same type of thing with the hackers. There's the same type of thing with um, uh, a lot of a lot of uh, people that are at least knowledgeable enough to be able to figure out some of it and could uh, give a decent educated guess towards the level of total amount of people around the world that are likely to uh, directly or indirectly or indi- indirectly yeah, there you go they're participating or involved and things happening, I guess, because it's, it's all rather hard, because it's like a, a real thing can go down, and, and this one uh, uh, is, uh, no, I don't want to use that example, I, I want to try and come up with an example for you, um, but it's like, we could try and talk about, um, you know, uh, you know, person getting uh, accidentally pushed at a, you know, uh, parade float, uh, fanfare going down the street or something, right, and, and, and they, they fall down, and it's unpleasant, and all the rest of it, and that, for some fucking damn reason, has a massive, surprisingly significant, impact down the road with some other fucking thing that seemingly fully unrelated and would in no way be at all impacted by it going on. 
and yet, right time, or right place, or the right person, or whatever it is, could genuinely create a significant change uh, in what uh, will be done by uh, the people it's going to affect, uh, or is the target of of that um, trying to affect a thing, right? And so, um, it becomes massively, um, I don't know how I should phrase it, because it, it's like, it goes to such a degree that they're plain looking individuals, uh, to anyone, and you would never know, you know, uh, at all, it could even been paid actors or some shit, I mean that, that's, that's a legitimate possibility, uh, and so it, it gets into very significant conspiratorial waters that seem all too illogical, uh, until you start realizing, um, that it is logical to assume effects can happen uh, over time or much further than you uh, initially may have perceived uh, thanks to the interactions of everything else and what the results uh, that are around them from the, the fall and what occurs later and uh, the resulting decision or decisions made to or not to from that, uh, going on and happening, and, and it's, uh, impossible, yeah, to, to police or figure out which, where, when, how, is it, or is it not, especially when people just have knowledge about it, which can greatly, uh, affect things if it was done uh, in such a way that it does and so it, it calls to a further degree of um, extreme um, care and attention devoted to it if you are to do it um, it's difficult, however, because, uh, you know, you're not playing fair, uh, in any way with anyone that's involved in it, uh, that isn't on, uh, someone's side that can do it with, uh, a, you know, um, Something that results in an outcome uh, they are looking for, and it's consistently that outcome, if not almost or is 100% accurate, and is on top of this well understood and known any and all of the avenues and or approaches or decisions that are uh, extremely likely to occur, or... Uh, result from um, the sudden understanding that this is occurring and wishing to alter and their now very real, highly uh, likely to be trapped in a massive, massive um, I guess push and pull, uh, <clears throat> direct, uh, moving, moving around, uh, the peace or persons or decisions and, and all the rest that are, uh, them and towards a specific goal. 
hopefully you're very much hoping, and I mean this in many massive ways and capacities here, that uh, is a positive for all, uh, or at least the right kind of people, uh, getting positives versus um, that not going on and um, some um, justifiable, I mean, allowed to, this is where the morals and ethics get us, yeah, it's like allowed to happen accidental death or uh, parent suicide or homicide, when you've got that much knowledge, it, it becomes literally impossible. You can't say literally everyone did. It's just not few. And besides, I can always bring them back. I can always recreate them down to the nth, nth degree. They, you know, it's a, it, it's, to me, that's not where I have my morals and ethics involved in any of it. Um, because you simply must acknowledge that y you can't <laughs> do that. Uh, plus, it looks suspicious as fuck. If we're all going to be really deliberately frank about it, it looks incredibly suspicious that everyone just stops having accidents and homicide or suicidal, you know, occurrences, um, cancer just for whatever reason, stopped killing you, disappeared maybe, you know, stuff like that, like, think about that for any uh, length of time past um, a few seconds, I think you can kind of grasp that it wouldn't be a, um, thing that it would you just wouldn't want to do it, um, at least uh, initially, until um, you can accept controlling all of the pieces and everything that may interact with them all at once. Um, and the resulting necessary need to um, have a clear plan of action and uh, solid, good uh, for your uh, perspective and, and so on, uh, justifications and explanations and reasons for deciding that um, it was a reasonable um, decision to, to, to make instead of deciding to kind of affect a lot with very, very little and it would be a literal impossibility to uh, prove it was you know something doing that even though you can clearly obviously after uh, everything had happened um, see the result and the goal aimed for and uh, the achieved result and um, the very strong and likely uh, possibility it was deliberately done uh, with knowledge beforehand and ahead of time to uh, incredibly good precision just don't know who or what or if it happened to be random which is such a fuck you to any anyone that's kind of you know I can see now why because like you do have people trying to kill you and then you also have people that are trying to help, and now there's that, that, that whole thing, 
you know, that kind of thing, and it's, it's like, I don't care if the, whatever the fuck happens, and it's like, but others do, so, like, you know, that's a, that's a whole mighty, uh, mutually assured destruction piece to have on at all times, uh, but I think quite necessary, you know, same thing with the, the really, only for those who have had significant instances of these very difficult to not be deliberate in some form or capacity and fully random uh, occurrences of uh, these out there situations resulting in bodily harm, death, uh, sudden meeting of people, it doesn't matter, the list has been massive, if we're being honest, there's even a, a version in which a fuck ton of pigs swarmed a secret, um, for whatever reason, was lifted and opened up hatch, um, out in the middle of fuck all nowhere, because people had left this parade, he was talking about things uh, to some weird psychology uh, behavior nonsense that um, I still don't fully understand why it works, but they decided to move that direction, uh, and these pigs were following along or got let out uh, from them fucking around with the fence and general mischief being done by kids or drunk uh, individuals, um, ultimately resulting in a large amount of these pigs going down into this, effectively, a, a, a literal, like, a secret base, I, I guess, you, is what that would be, and, um, uh, right after being told uh, that pigs are going to come over and give you the, the message um, by some asshole person um, at the time, or at the very least being very obviously... Uh, extremely something uh, in terms of intelligence. Um, you, know, you can't say genius, can you? <sighs> Whatever. I would say, uh, like, how in the world did you get that message? And believed it to be true and happening. From a person years ago in the past... With no equipment to do it. Just brain stuff. Which I don't think was properly examined and explored. Which is one of the reasons why I had pigs fly. Into your secret base. To help you understand. Uh, sometimes really crazy shit happens. And needs to be more fully explored to scientifically understand and or just allow um, the knowledge to be known. Because, uh, again, remember, like, the moment, I, I know what your thoughts and, and, and shit are uh, sometimes, or very literally, I do, um, and so, when you're, like, uh, compete with it, when you compete with it, I'm like, no, uh, I don't really want people to hurt me, or come after me, especially after they stole everything, in fact, I literally would, in every way, in fact, I'm working in every way towards the opposite, 
you know, and um, that's final. At least you get to live. You know, that's a big deal on the uh, the deal, you know, contract or whatever it is you're trying to come up with. Metaphor kind of breaks down. Anyways, the point I'm trying to, to, to get across is it's really, really uh, obvious that people like yourselves do not ever have any shred of what is necessary to not be detrimental or terrible or tyrants that are not benevolent in any ways uh, working towards an ultimate stable goal and are punishing rightfully and justly so uh, the individuals whom harmed uh, you in a concerted concentrated conspiracy like effort um, simply just to ruin any thing about my day or legitimacy there's more uh, obviously I'm just tired don't really want to keep going but um, I'll finish this off uh, with um, talking about some of the other things uh, that I really should have actually just talked about, which was uh, the situations and uh, uh, ways of having um, younger individuals um, have and uh, experience a great relationship early on that is... Um, very positive and, uh, you know, uh, beneficial uh, experience that allows and, and helps towards uh, fostering belief, self-worth, self-esteem, self-confidence in themselves to enforce and, and uh, stick uh, to their um, wanted, uh, boundaries, and, uh, needed boundaries, uh, as well, um, so, uh, that they are not going to be, um, in a situation where, uh, if it doesn't occur, uh, to be, in, in, in a positive form or fashion, whether it's younger than themselves even, or peer groups that are around their same age or slightly older, or very young adult here that we're, we're talking about, um, in, in which that uh, they may not have done the practice and effort uh, and, and uh, work in learning about these things, uh, which of course can greatly uh, alter and, and ultimately be a, a very hugely uh, detrimental or destructive, yes, destructive um, force in any relationship, uh, and uh, even more so the individual's uh, well-being mentally and emotionally, um, that of course now uh, gets help with being able to emotionally process not just by themselves 
and uh, be able to uh, have a, a higher degree of likelihood of reduced uh, um, emotions and and uh, understanding of those emotions and what to do with them and uh, process them non-violently or uh, self-harm and or other uh, negative uh, results uh, that can occur with anyone of any age, I gotta say. But um, especially around that age uh, where we see people that are very much hopped up on their hormones uh, without much real education on how to uh, really do that effectively and um, consistently, um, which uh, this, of course, uh, by the point they, they get to that, should have that, but there's always people that slip through the cracks or just built differently, don't care, don't want to do it, don't value or see the importance in it, um, and adults are similar as well, uh, so, um, you know, we're just trying to lessen the burden and increase the number of people, uh, that are in a better, uh, situation, emotional situation, uh, and so on, um, that are going to grow up to become adults and have their own children and, uh, are going to be able to further, uh, the next generation, uh, and start significantly reducing the amount of abuse and the resulting uh, trauma and very, very destructive and uh, incredibly bad, uh, you know, consequences, either uh, mentally, emotionally, or physically, or all the above, even verbally too, yeah, that, uh, have um, very destructive behaviors towards themselves and or others, or uh, worse, um, which could usually turn out to be some form of serial or lots of uh, premeditated forms of... Um, stalking or harassment or uh, killing or mass you know shootings uh, and so on that could result it's unlikely to be uh, significantly in fact uh, much more likely to be the opposite uh, significantly reduced over the course of one or, or even during the first generation of, of taught school children and, or by parents' children uh, about this and in these ways. So it could be very, very helpful. Um, it's, you know, okay for what it is, if I'm being honest. Um, no such thing as perfection. Always strive to uh, do uh, the best you can now and uh, assess uh, later on what seemed to work and what seemed to not work so well, what straight up just didn't happen or was bad uh, as an outcome. Um, and failed, uh, uh, also, uh, you know, uh, that's a, that's a thing that you have to include, and, uh, try and come up with, uh, 
more longer term, uh, gentler and uh, more variable uh, included um, designs and, and solutions for the, the next go ahead and go around for uh, teaching this or experiencing this or whatever else is um, uh, there that you might want to include uh, to hopefully uh, improve it and um, the results being something uh, that have to be measured if it's worse, or if it's better, or if it's worse in some areas, or better in some way, some ways, it's like those are those are all necessarily to be, and you need to know them. Yeah, for sure. So that that's a that's a big part of uh, this, and um, the reason why I kind of set the scene to imply uh, other either adults that could be trusted, or, um, some form of recording, or audio, video recording, or both, I, I don't know, but it, it's up to the individuals, uh, involved to, uh, find a comfortable, uh, being okay, uh, thing that, um, they agree on, uh, or have compromised and agreed upon, so that's, that's a big part of that, and it's necessary, yeah, uh, it's, it's also to continue to follow, uh, the people, uh, before, uh, notice mannerisms, speech habits, uh, all that stuff, um, on top of, uh, the, the during and then the after, and, uh, you know, um, following that into the next day of school, homeschooling, um, whatever might also be, uh, uh, their uh, perspectives that uh, changed or stayed the same about uh, the sexual activity that occurred uh, and um, the various, uh, do they think about it or uh, not, um, do they equate it to something else and similarity in their lives, uh, goings on in general life, um, uh, or the, the general basics are uh, continually uh, updating um their uh, perspectives and beliefs and philosophies and uh, the them being accepted or ex ex accepting of uh, uh, what's occurring or the type of thing going on uh, then uh, to see if uh, a change over time occurs, uh, and if it does, make sure to ask them what could have prompted the change, um, where the thought could have uh, come from, or seem to originate around um, something that started making making them think a little about something um, or stuff like that. Um, 
if it all remains pretty consistent, that's also another interesting finding. Um, and if anything, it could point to a very significant uh, level of um, pointedness um, of the the children uh, being not groomed or prompted to continue a belief and are uh, being exposed, hopefully, uh, is, uh, but that's a new school system uh, that I would prefer, but if I'm homeschooling, you know, like, I'm going to try my best to uh, have them experience and understand uh, different cultures and uh, beliefs and uh, philosophies and where they come from, why they uh, have this belief as best we understand, and what it uh, can be uh, something or give a, a positive benefit f uh, from it or uh, the negatives also uh, and, and all the rest that I can try and uh, help them to understand uh, and uh, they sh would likely with the skills they've been developing be pretty decent at it I, I would think um, you know, uh, with understanding and comparing, contrasting pros and cons and, and all the rest of that, uh, they're doing for their own emotions or t emotions towards others, uh, reactions or actions they want to take or, uh, the rest of that, yeah, towards themselves or others. Uh, so, I imagine it would be a, a very good, useful tool to help um, really facilitate. Uh, in, 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 in my mind, the, the reason I'm doing it is because I want them to be well-rounded and um, not uh, fully rely only on my ideas and uh, beliefs, although they're totally valid and acceptable to do that, you know, I mean, that's, that's okay if they want to do that, I'm not going to stop them, um, if that's what they're doing, that's what they're doing, that they're allowed to do that, uh, I don't see a reason, um, to put pressure or anything else, uh, on them, or their situation to try and force a change or continuation uh, of the s similar or same uh, beliefs or, th you know, philosophies, uh, that's not my, it's not acceptable for me, you know, to, to try and do that, that's, that's one of the reasons why it's, it's, it's morally and ethically and for my own beliefs and, and, and ph 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 philosophical, uh, you know, goings on and beliefs, um, I, I cannot, uh, I just can't be okay with it, uh, I have a lot of guilt, or a lot of shame, or, I just, I just wouldn't be okay with, with that, I, I, I just wouldn't. Um, but, uh, in that same vein, um, uh, I'm also super okay with them deciding, um, uh, for themselves and giving pointers on how to, um, think about it, uh, themselves and, uh, grasp concepts themselves and, all the rest of it, uh, without any input from, from me, unless stated they, they want that input or advice or the perspective, uh, that I have or the mom has or whatever else, you know, um, which I feel like is a very even keel approach to it. Um, 
uh, it might not go del- down well for some of the uh, adults or parents out there. Uh, I say screw them. Um, I believe it is a ex- very good idea to have people try their best and grow and change um, and decide uh, something's not for them or something is for them and get away from it or pursue it respectively, you know, um, and everything else attached to those kinds of things. Because if you've taught them well, you can trust them to make good decisions for themselves and uh, further uh, that they'll come to you uh, for advice or just conversations uh, that they um, feel comfortable with you or the mother or whatever else. Um, And uh, that's just you know, kind of normal stuff, so I don't, I don't see a good reason to go after that myself, um, just that, uh, I think a similar, uh, very necessary and, uh, I think is um, very uh, unavoidable or mandatory uh, um, thing that should also have to be done is uh, helping adults uh, and um, other individuals that didn't get uh, the, the parenting and or teaching style that this would would be hopefully to help them you know um, see a a little bit further past their looks or their grades or who likes them and who doesn't and um, really care more about uh, what they get out of things and also what could be achieved or um, felt or uh, is worth it or not worth it uh, for a given relationship or uh, amount of worry and anxiety and stress and involved in various you know school going on like tests, homework, friends, you know, bullies, bad teachers, good teachers, you know, really focusing on the very real aspect that they matter more than other people. And it's uh, totally acceptable for them to uh, have something matter more than them should they want and desire that, but, um, you know, uh, it's also okay to just kind of do both of that, and that, uh, making sure, uh, they are, uh, happy and healthy, and, uh, focusing on, uh, their, successful and uh, hopefully very fulfilling uh, path forward um, is is uh, the main thing they're doing and uh, doing it well you know instead of uh, placing importance on incredibly non valuable or worth uh, the stress or worry uh, to focus on like you know people not liking them or uh, the people that they don't like not liking them 
um, but uh, acknowledging that they want the people they like to like them and that there is uh, importance in those opinions or uh, whatever is, is there that uh, is important uh, to that situation. Um, the sexual activity, of course, is a big part of that as well. we got to acknowledge that. But I think more so um, it's kind of furthering itself into more of a societal, social, massive betterment to all. And basically always, um, except for individuals that are extremely narcissistic and egotistical and manipulative and so on, uh, in, in which they lost a fuck ton of power in many ways based upon that. Same thing with the no longer caring as much, if uh, at all, about consumeristic culture and um, traditions. Uh, and being able to properly focus on personal identity and gratification uh, and fulfillment towards, uh, irregardless of what is deemed by society or the social, societal zeitgeist going on, uh, but functionally facilitates their needs uh, getting met and um, their, uh, you know, dreams and or goals or uh, whatever else it is uh, being actively pursued uh, and... Um, genuinely felt uh, possible or um, at least quite um, possible to lead to something else along the way that they would gladly go and do as well or instead of you know um, that's that's great honestly can you imagine how many people would genuinely, especially with their ability to understand self and uh, where they want to go, how they want to go about doing it, and working within the system we have to find the best uh, compromise that is uh, worth it and can be done um, instead of uh, not achievable or comfortable or something that is acceptable uh, to put up with um, on the road uh, to the the destination of you know doing the whole life thing you know um, but uh, the whole well-rounded part for me was like well that's obvious that that should be a thing but then uh, it's also to basically say fuck off a bunch of people that say we're grooming and not uh, offering them these uh, chances to experience and understand different life cultures and traditions and uh, the perceived uh, by them, you know, perspectives of benefits and or detriments or uh, and others as well that are added into that. Uh, so that way it's more varied where beliefs and opinions and the rest can ultimately be uh, picked up and, you know, aggregated, calculated, all that in their minds and, and, and processed uh, and um, their version they come up with or a similar version or something uh, is bound to happen. You know, so it, 
it's just I feel like they're very obviously accepting their cognitive dissonance towards their uh, way of raising their children uh, towards being democratic, republican, libertarian, uh, these types of financially, you know, held beliefs or traditions uh, being uh, the correct ways versus uh, these ones, you know, everybody really kind of does it. Uh, it's it's only when um, it suddenly uh, gives them all of uh, their uh, and very frank, uh, no sugar coated, uh, fluttery language, you know, kinds of things, you know, for their beliefs or philosophies or whatever else uh, we're talking about. Um, and, uh, you know, there there's not always positives. There are, there are not always negatives. Um, and uh, where a great deal of perspective can uh, be statistically proven uh, to lie and in massive survey data um, if not survey data uh, straight anonymous reports of their beliefs or uh, acceptance or tolerance or being okay with uh, things various sexual activities, sexualities, all the rest that uh, can be in that. Um, so, anyways, uh, I just don't feel like I need to turn into a pastor delivering a sermon to try and hype someone up into believing and following along with that religion. And, um, that's that's all I got, you know. Um, it's it's up to the the person to hear it, uh, and it's obviously very accurate and extremely poignant, uh, as in direct to the point. Uh, you know, description. Um, with their perspectives uh, that can be attributed from it and all the whys and this good or bad or why and, uh, you know, stuff like that uh, resulting in a great alteration, which that's the reason why they're angry because it's like you didn't explain it like this, which would have seemed so much cooler and better to them, and it's like, yeah, that's, we're not advertising for you, that's, that's what you do, you advertise for your shit, I don't do that, you know what I mean, that's, that's what I'm putting forth here, I don't view it as advertising, um, my shit in any way, when I do literally the same reason, the same thing for my stuff too, you know, or at least I'm going to try my damnedest to do the exact same thing. But it's like, there, there's a reason why I believe the, the way I do. Because it's like, I've had some of my own experiences. Beliefs challenged, philosophies challenged, changed all across the board. And uh, my own, you know, acceptance or non-acceptance or d redirection of anger and uh, acceptance and love uh, as well um, in a short period of time talking less than a decade since I really started the whole meditation and uh, a little more than a decade for the therapy so 
um, uh, not a great deal of, of, of time has occurred, and it, a lot has happened in that time, even though sometimes it doesn't feel that way, uh, for weeks or months on end sometimes. It's a bit uh, frustrating, um, but um, it's a it's a thing, basically, in which it can result in some powerful uh, thoughts and perspectives, and beliefs and philosophies, uh, and. Um, acceptance or non-acceptance and really good powerful views and or perspectives uh, as to why it's acceptable or not acceptable uh, for those individuals involved or talked about uh, in terms of abusive manipulative I have to of course understand uh, if they were taught and raised in such a way that that was the accepted or uh, necessary or whatever it is uh, thing to do and needs to be unlearned and uh, have them slowly be helped out of their survival shell internally uh, on top of their resulting kind of psyche that is uh, their ego uh, pretending and protecting their real thoughts and identities uh, behind a built-up internal mask that uh, they could not accept themselves to be um, anything other than this uh, without a severe emotional regret or... total rejection and denial of themselves um, we have had uh, instances of individuals having an ego death um, resulting in sudden realizations powerful realizations of themselves and uh, relation uh, as well to, to others outside of themselves uh, there's also the very real extreme uh, changes uh, sometimes that you'll, you can see uh, occur with personality or likes and dislikes and willingness to, in uh, the vulnerable, delicate stage they're in, um, them being willing to open up and, and uh, see if it's uh, going to be a situation where they have to reform that defensive ego. Or they can uh, comfortably weather the storms and emotions and changes that they're going to go through uh, as a result of the ego loss and significant ego change um, and identity change uh, too that can result in this uh, happening um, which is why processing work is a real nice preemptive work to be done uh, before you go about trying to do maybe those things uh, right off the bat simply because um, you'll be able to understand and help yourself through those those uh, challenging situations that are going to feel extremely new and rough to go through unlike before and uh, now you'll have coping skills and you'll have those habits of those coping skills those uh, views on your self-identity and acceptance and possible desire to change them or understand them better and where they came from or challenge and see if uh, 
it's um, something you want to keep instead of changing or change instead of keep. Um, so that's that's fine. It, it just takes time. Don't be too quick about your extremely extremely uh, you self in there. Be gentle. Give it all the love, care, and attention, and all the not like my own ass dead, if I'm being honest. Uh, allowance of um, failure and uh, acceptance of thoughts, emotions, feelings in a guilt-free, non-judgmental way with uh, accepting you're not always going to be what you want or like for yourself. And um, there's going to be failures. There's going to be obvious uh, things that make you recoil um, to whom you appear to be to yourself, which is much more realistic uh, as your subconscious often tends to be brutally direct and honest with your consciousness um, to let it know that that's you, your real you, um, which can be a bit uh, very highly um, frustrating anger grief there's a lot of emotions that can come in um, you can have pure unadulterated acceptance and love uh, I find those motherfuckers uh, amazing um, and a lot of them even went through similar stuff that I did I just don't seem to have that as easily readily available for whatever reason um i wish i did i don't uh it takes a lot of effort and a lot of unlocking and that i was doing in the past and my my deep meditation stuff um looking in and finding out why uh my anger or annoyance or my blockage towards uh, my uh, emotions or acceptance of uh, these thoughts or actions I did and forgiving myself and uh, allowing for the just letting go and, and, and no longer needing to be always guilt-ridden and ashamed that can come with that, with other uh, more um, significant uh, things tackled too, and there um, that can be a roller coaster. of suddenly unlocking deep, deep, heavy pain and, and, and suffering that you locked away and just grew around it to uh, accept and um, allow f for that mistreatment or... Um, other unfortunate um, things that can be involved there. It's a very delicate one that uh, should be very much, uh, you know, understood uh, that it's all acceptable. All of the mixed emotions and feelings and views 
that you may end up uh, having or uh, while not liking still may uh, think or feel briefly or consistently. Um, do not run away and or fight. Um, the biggest benefit you can uh, uh, allow for yourself is a uh, opening feeling and flowing through and accepting uh, the thought um, for what it is and uh, where it comes from and uh, why you do not like the thought and or like the thought and uh, feel no anger, judgment, resentment, regret, or belief in um, yourself changed towards worse or uh, hopefully still yes better I would I would hope but uh, certainly hopefully not for the worse if I'm being honest but um, the better it sometimes can be actually another uh, trap you can have these euphoric feelings and I'm better now and I have, well you didn't get better um, there's still work to do and or uh, more things to consider and more thoughts to have or let go and ruminate or mull or kind of toss and turn around uh, where you got it from, what your perspective now on it is for good or bad or something else. It's a lot of thinking work that is extremely, and I mean this, beneficial in many aspects for life. If you can consistently do it, or even do it just once, it can greatly enhance uh, and change your, your mind towards a less... Uh, chaotic storm and sea to a more uh, uh, calm uh, style of sea like some choppy waves and some light wind you know actually reasonable to sail across you know and you keep at it you might even get fully glass like smooth surface nice little easy to just glide on boat and enjoy but uh, it's all a lot of effort but not that much effort if I'm being honest it's consistent effort and it pays off uh, there's a reason why I recommend it I don't recommend trying to do the astral plane or other, you know, time travel stuff. Uh, really just because it has resulted in the most amount of suffering and issues I've ever had, ever. Uh, so, uh, and from my experience, I, I really would have to say it's not worth it at all to learn or even want to do it or try to do it. Um, but, you know, I was a dumbass that didn't think that far ahead, and so I ended up doing it, I just started doing things, and my god, I wish I hadn't, I'll tell you that much, jeez, and I mean it, but, uh, the, the, the real meditation, uh, work is, is heavily encouraged by you, right, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, that shit works. It helps tremendously. It might not be for everyone, but wow. Wow, oh wow. It, uh, it, it comes with, well, some 
something very real and um, uh, difficult um, conversations you're going to have to have with yourself and understandings of yourself and where they come from and the beliefs uh, or lack thereof or perspectives or not actually thought much about uh, possibly even uh, about yourself again or your personality or your your view towards others or it, 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 it's all good amount of work but um, wow man it's a uh, incredibly releasing um, and generally growing to accept self self uh, as you are and um, uh, being uh, more open and inviting uh, to these change is of your supposed only a few ways possibly uh, acceptable personality traits or belief systems and or other uh, goings on yeah because it's 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 uh, very telling when you don't even know why you never thought to challenge it you know and why you may have believed that was um okay and uh because a perspective of course for someone that is very worried uh of an individual that is going to change their belief is well they wouldn't have control over you sure there might be uh someone such as myself here who does not want you to end up uh, believing something that is wildly uh, inaccurate or uh, extremely corrosive and toxic towards yourself and or others uh, to justify uh, uncomfortable fears or beliefs of uh, superiority when uh, there is no such thing uh, and where that n need uh, to believe in superiority over something uh, comes from. And teasing that out in those memories uh, trapped within. Um, and why, uh, again, you never felt the desire or need to challenge it and change it or view it uh, as acceptable uh, for your, yourself and others too to not feel this way and your perceptions of um, the very likely to have been um, incorrect uh, beliefs of, uh, uh, and perspectives that stemmed from them uh, managed to grab a hold of your desire to be uh, what it is you felt was um, the real uh, version of you you wanted to be but could not uh, believe you were um, is a very distinct possibility for oftentimes uh, individuals who have a very strong belief and desire and need inside themselves to be better or put down others to be better um, 
than others. Uh, if it is a race thing, a gender thing, intelligence thing, beauty, it doesn't matter. It all is. It always comes from uh, a deep-seated and rooted uh, insecurity and jealousy. Um, and uh, genuine unwillingness to fully accept oneself inside of their uh, their minds and uh, also uh, externally validating uh, past a superficial level and uh, agreeing in that part inside your head that um, it, it's true, you are likable, or you are a good person, or you are, you know, uh, good-looking, or whatever it is, um, that is being significantly altered um, and warped into a very malevolent, violent force and rage from the jealousy and insecurities that lie there um, and get consistent energy from you by you not willing to, because of your anxiety and fear towards those dark thoughts and what it may lead you to do to yourself or others that you might find uh, reprehensible or acceptable, but not really uh, right now, or sometimes even worse, uh, suicidal or homicidal rages or depressions, um, and a fully deep-seated, hardcore uh, self-image of never, no matter what is done, worn, said, uh, you are good enough to handle or can indeed uh, be powerful and strong and overcome the uh, emotions uh, by accepting them in and uh, allowing uh, the hurt and anger and fear to run this course and um, n not become overwhelming uh, as you allow it to pass through um, and uh, acknowledgement that it is a very strong extremely intelligent thing to do that um, for yourself to grow as a person um, and it should hopefully uh, over time I think end up being something you realized greatly uh, helped your internal self-image in the rage and jealousy or other uh, very deep-seated negative emotions that you have inside um, become far lessened and an enemy you may have once seen as an enemy feels more like a friend or at least someone you don't view nearly as uh, harshly or angrily as you may have once previously which is a huge difference and change and that's meditation and visual imagery and uh, good consistent dedicated work and effort towards accomplishing it, which uh, something um, 
to be said for therapy and all the rest of it because it's extremely useful um, in helping you kind of gain an understanding of yourself, techniques and coping skills, uh, reframing your perspectives and your mind in general, and allowing for uh, a perspective of others to come in and, um, you know, uh, your, you know, approaching and conversational, uh, communication skills develop to be far more, um, nice and, and, and less, uh, of something that, might turn someone into uh, an annoyed individual or frustrated or so on and so forth, yeah. And so, and it grows because um, then you got to use that knowledge and practice to, uh, success and apply it towards this style of meditation uh, to get a more uh, deep and uh, hopefully better and com more, hopefully again more complete because uh, I want that twice. Um, you know, evolution of self-image, personality, uh, desire and goals uh, for the future, um, and, and genuine energy and belief it can be done, so on and so forth. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge one. Um, there's more steps if we're going to be real with, uh, with it to yourself or, um, others, if you want to, uh, help them learn this technique, which has been talked about and known from gurus, uh, monks, um, others in the past. Uh, I just sort of did my best to, I guess, copy what I believed would be a thing to do, or I, I didn't really read much up on it, if I'm going to be honest. I, I would love to to say I, uh, down to the T or letter, um, did that. I, I, I didn't, I, I didn't, uh, want to go look it up on, online. I just remember vaguely certain beliefs, teachings, you know, ways of thinking, stuff like this from multiple cultures that practice various forms of meditation and uh, directed uh, breathing uh, techniques in combination. And tried my best to experiment to find what worked uh, the best uh, for me. My technique for uh, allowing to um, immediately recognize a tense point or muscle in my body um, was highly advantageous and helping allow for the concerning ideas, uh, thoughts, emotions, uh, perceived uh, actions or wrongful uh, actions or so on to run through my mind and, and be objectively viewed and listened and allowed a uh, voice and uh, validity and, and instead of being suppressed all the time everywhere, um, which can lead to uh, a pileup of bad, negative, dirty emotions inside of us, um, if not worse, where it can form its own version of a dark kind of 
itself, or even more disastrous, we're getting into it, um, genuine, uh, holes in our ego and identity, personal identities, self-identities, you know, um, that are, uh, there because, um, those emotions and thoughts were not examined, and they didn't just go away, you just tried to crush them away, which doesn't really work, and, uh, what that ultimately means is they're something you now have to dive deep into, With the understanding, um, you can come out anytime, but it can be scary to feel or think or allow uh, them to completely surround you uh, and everything that it's going to entail, but you are in every way, whenever you want just capable of opening those eyes, immediately uh, moving, take it away, or deciding uh, to envision yourself leaving the hole uh, in however way you decide to leave the hole. Um, it is fine to not go in there for too long, but it must be addressed. And they must be allowed uh, passage uh, through and accepted and uh, then directly addressed and thought about uh, and as a result uh, accepted most likely and possibly uh, gained a new appreciation, or if not that, then not as uh, as terrible as it once might have been, and the forgiveness and um, letting go of self becomes highly important on, on a lot of those, while also... Uh, as a result of the forgiveness and letting go, a new thought and belief and uh, in yourself and your self-identity can form. Um, and you're the one that's going to plant that seed. You're the one that's going to be, who's going to have to um, figure out what you want to now feel or think about yourself. It's a big day, when you do it, uh, it doesn't just solidify, you got to keep watering it over time, and then it grows healthy, and then it sticks around, and you do believe it, it's an extremely important technique, um, it just takes time, it takes a lot of time, really, yeah, because it can be if not done with uh, the correct uh, respect and degree of, of, of importance of, of what you're doing for and to yourself um, in, ter in terms of healing yourself and growing yourself further than you were before, okay? Which, uh, of course, uh, is, is to to say that um, there's a new you that's growing inside of you that can be absolutely pruned and changed as you want. But if done incorrectly, that new you can be a very nasty plant or animal or 
whatever, and um, even to itself. Which is, uh, if you do kind of understand and grasp that you're wanting not to be a narcissist or manipulative or, you know, you want to have some empathy and sympathy, but you don't want to be abused or abused, uh, I think you get the general gist of not allowing for certain accepted beliefs or thoughts or actions or, you know, perspectives to be there like they may have been in the past. I've had to do it with uh, many things, minor attractive people being one of them. Um, Certain kink communities, if I'm honest. Um, I don't want to get too far into that because that's embarrassing. But there are a few kink communities that I initially felt were... uh, too extreme and uh, were in every way not valid or acceptable. But um, moving on from from this, uh, views on uh, immigration um, and the border with uh, Mexican Americans or Mexicans. Um, not that I felt that they were inferior or anything, just that uh, I got told um, about taxes being the reason of, and uh, so on uh, that it was causing the issues with us or maybe I just at some point heard that or just tried to come up with an answer why this would be a bad thing and I was like well I mean I guess they don't pay certain taxes maybe question mark I actually don't know how that works at least back then I didn't, uh, so take that for what you will, but I had to change that belief, you know, uh, oh yeah, uh, I don't know about black people, really, I didn't really have too many negative thoughts about black people, if I'm being real, uh, certain individuals that were not very nice and bullied me, but other than that, I didn't really give shit, um, who, what the fuck, I, I just, shut up and tried to listen to what the hell I didn't know and hadn't experienced and was literally in in no way uh, aware and even understood. So um, that's what I tried my best to do, you know, try and learn about the, the shit we did to them past just the slavery, you know what I mean, and the very real continued effort of oppression and suppression, eh, that is extremely prevalent still in our communities and and, in our country at large, but then it's like, wait, on top of all the rest, yeah, because it's pretty much across the board with colored minorities, or even, uh, gay, uh, the rainbow community now, I, I suppose I'll accept, but, you know, they're not one of us, although I accept them, all right, sure, okay, thank you for saying that, um, that being said, uh, yeah, they get oppressed in certain areas are also wildly inflated in their property values and costs, because they're seen as less violent and and more gentrified and better looking or whatever it is that's there. Um, While you couldn't sell it to a conservative person at all, I imagine, you could definitely sell it to other gay people that are, you know, rich. So, that's a thing I see. (laughs) In a lot of their communities where it's like... It's a lifestyle that looks to be very not uh, something with a middle. You go to extreme like levels of 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 rich and money to holy fuck, they poor. You know what I mean? And there there is in between. I it's it's just 
it's a lot less uh, of a thing that, that you, you get to see. So that's a, that's a problem. Uh, but, um, you know, it is a problem. You're right. Because it's like, in reality, that's also not to, to be a bit of a, a shitter on your perspective. Because it's valid and it's it's really a thing that's happening and you are targeted in the markets in, in every way. Don't let anyone convince you you're not. You're a group. Any, but uh, here's a unfortunate uh, little truth. Everyone's a group that's targeted uh, by the people wanting to make money on anything that they, they buy. So that's kind of a thing. Uh, I would say that... For um, I also want to join in on the kind of sucks right now plight going on. While not because we're we're gay and targeted specifically due to the belief or feelings of increased wealth or prosperities uh, that are going on. Um, or lack thereof, and degeneracy, that could be whatever. Uh, heterosexual places are ridiculously over, everywhere is overpriced. Honestly, it's, it's stupid. It's, it's like actually genuinely stupid being honest about it, you know, and it it's a very harsh reality where you can be rich and basically live in poverty or barely get your shit done, being realistic about it, um, so, uh, I don't know what to say, being honest, I don't know what to say, because <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, how do you change this, and like, the answer is, lots of laws, lots of laws, getting an amendment passed, where, you know, this is the acceptable cost of living wage and property values are capped and shit. It's a very long amendment, but it's like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> We're now socialists, which it wouldn't be the case. But like, I mean, you know, uh, I mean, they would say that. They're, oh, the Republicans. Yeah, I would say that you finally achieved a fucking result of, like, saying that enough's enough. We, the people, are the power ones. We are the ones in power now. Fuck you. You are the corporation that bends to my will. It's not the other way around. The employees and the customers are going to have to be what that is. Of course, it'll lead to its other shit that happens. I would imagine it would be impossible to not get to a point where we're understanding that, um, why the fuck do we uh, not sort of provide our basic needs here? Like housing or food or water or electricity or all the rest of it. And I'm like, yeah, that's a very legitimate question when the necessary uh, for capitalism to be uh, viewed in any capacity as uh, legitimate or worthwhile um, or reasonable or anything that it isn't actually what it really is, which is un empathetic, unjust, unfair, unequal, uh, obviously uh, pitting people against each other and forcing home a belief of no, no trusting, no understanding of others, sympathy or empathy, compassion, acceptance, tolerance, and finding a positive uh, outlet and solutions and that can be done and uh, don't result in the negative outcomes that we see with these capitalistic uh, 
uh, things, and it all stems from, like, what you literally just said, it all stems from the literal, uh, from birth ingrained in your mind and is accepted as what it should be and couldn't fathom a workaround or solution to uh, someone doing work unless it is for the water, electricity, heat, housing, and food, and all the rest of it that goes on with that. With your communications and sexual, obviously, very real needs, uh, and socializing, um, which can kind of go hand in hand right there, uh, that is, along with that communication need, you know, that their needs, necessities, if you don't have them, uh, people do worse. So you, you need to have them. Um, for the people that need them. Not everyone needs the same amount or any at all in some cases. And I find them to be very lucky uh, being honest about it. It's, they're, they're incredibly lucky to not need uh, those, those kinds of... But then, of of course, um, on the on the flip side, it it's gotta feel very odd to just sort of be comfortable with yourself and have this kind of twinge of I'm obviously different than than they are, and I like being only my, with myself and by myself and all the rest of that, that, that goes into it, so that's, that's a thing, you know what I mean, that's a thing, if I'm being honest, if, mm. but, it comes with its own baggages, of risks for, you know, if they ate something incorrectly, and choked to death, or they, possibly caught an infection and uh their overwhelming uh displeasure of being around uh anyone uh, except themselves in general uh prevented them from going to the hospital and they died because of it and um other situations in which uh it's still a fair number, uh, not every single one of them is as extremely hard on completely by themselves, uh, some need companionship of a plant, animal, or other things to care for, or work on in their lives for goals, so that way they still feel part of something bigger than themselves. And are in a good, uh, better place as a result of it. There's a lot of things there, but anyways, everything I'm I'm trying to say, uh, but got sidetracked and about is that capitalism is a very inhumane uh, system of of economy and government uh, because of the the way it treats its own corporations and the workers involved and it, it removes uh, the necessary for cooperation and a massive increase in producti- productivity, innovation, a lot of buzzwords basically, uh, that results in people freely sharing ideas without judgment or fear or feeling uh, that their idea was not uh, correctly uh, seen as their idea, Um, which is a very big deal for many people, actually including myself, truthfully, myself has included in that, so I, 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 you know, and yeah, and everybody deserves to have their name on it. 
that contributed and that's that's absolutely ex- acceptable and normal and should be the case i had some issues in the past with myself being a shittier in every way and deciding to invalidate and not acknowledge things uh which fucking christ i feel like a jerk for it and I, now i don't like doing that at all um what was the thing uh fear of the fame or fortune going away some of it also was uh due to some perceived necessity of retaining and remaining in in a position of power and authority uh, uh to be legitimate or in that, in the conversations uh that were going on or uh situations happening uh, back then so it, it was not acceptable though uh even to me i just sort of fucking disassociated from the emotion and just sort of had to do the things instead which was not a um move that was very uh, helpful i'll say even if it seemed to help it uh, and maybe other it maybe had others perceive it um in such a way where i didn't have uh feelings or uh cared about the things i was doing or uh other stuff involved in that too um that being said, I still got through it and did it and wiped the floor with a lot of things simply because it was required to do. I had to um, to survive and, and make it out, which is a fucking, yeah, for not, yeah, I know, right? Jesus Christ. Uh, anyways, um, but yeah, no, capitalism sucks. Uh, and uh, socialism is uh, hopefully better, if I'm honest. Um, that's a, that's the kind of rough part that uh, corruptible people who have uh, intrinsically been raised uh, and uh, helped and encouraged and supported to view things in a hierarchical manner or do not have the um, individual uh, work on their uh, psyche and egos and uh, self-identities um, and uh, what can ultimately greatly improve and become uh far better than it used to be than it used to be you know it's, it's just the key phrase there um that in my zone philosophy i'm big on zones i'm big on this creative freedom zone authoritarian style of government uh, i don't even know what to call it because it's like you got uh democratic socialism all oh right democratic anarchist socialism which can be your micro zones to individual family homes which is anarchy they can be them themselves but it's democratic and they can all vote towards their zone needing more space or uh various things like that but then there's the benevolent totalitarian dictatorship that uh, overwatches effectively all the bullshit that people are trying to say about others or uh, trying to change about their laws, uh, which are very much in place to force uh, people to remain good people towards each other and and do not overreact and uh, overpunish or whatever. Um, while maintaining a good balance between having all the different areas that you may wish to live 
inside and with the express understanding after a great deal of uh, classes and, and, and work uh, shows that you do fully understand what you're getting yourself into to what you're deciding to um, not participate in um, in subzones within the socialism or the capitalism or the whatever the fuck else is out there, you know, for the, for the, the rape, uh, the murder, the, those are straight up zones with capitalism and, you know, but they have, you know, basically the opposite, which is socialism overall, but then like the sub zones, I've talked about it a little bit before. Um, and it's, it's, it's very much a constant, unfortunately, never ending surveillance state which uh, doesn't fucking give a shit who you fuck as long as it's in the right zone. And uh, they're recording the shit out of anything you say, anywhere, I don't care where, and it's stupidly illegal to try and alter or hack the system. Like, go fuck yourself. Gulag. Yeah. (laughs) Guess what that means. Lots of self-work, and we're probably going to fuck with your brain if we can to really significantly suppress the urges and temptations to try and do that, or feeling that it was worth it to do, or desired, or whatever, I don't know, you get the picture, but yeah, it's, it's a harsh one, because it's like, I could get behind it, especially since it's like smoke, fuck, whatever drugs, even a drug zone, which has its own things going on, yeah, and it's like, I don't care, as long as uh, you are correctly teaching the uh, adults, teenagers, and children, and um, what's clearly allowed and acceptable, regardless of beliefs, uh, you are allowed to... uh, a phrase that your beliefs are that they uh, do not accept this, but this is legal and acceptable and valid here, and it has these positives that are uh, being seen and noticed and experienced by most people. So um, it comes with its its issues uh, because you got to pack up a move, and you got to sign the form and the little thingy. That goes, I have this badge, you can't do whatever that is now. I'm basically, yeah, persona non grata, and you get escorted out. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, but to be fair, it's wherever the hell you want to move to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, with a lot of very renewable, clean, power-saving, all that stuff. Buildings and devices that are highly... Uh, effective at what they do for providing power uh, and water and food and energy and all the rest of that. If you don't want food, you got the, of course, you can genetically modify yourself to barely ever need to eat, if you're being honest. That's totally a legitimate thing. Boots are on. I mean that. Like, I don't give a shit. You can modify yourself to wherever... uh, crazy or not even viewed as crazy anymore most likely um degree that you want to uh it just takes time to calculate and your specific profile and what it will ultimately uh have you experience for side effects and or so on and so forth on top of the amount of time it's going to take for it to fully completely change you which is far better than like having overnight a massive sudden amount of fucking boobs just grow on your chest just it's just so painful you need to have so much fat reallocated you just don't want to do it it's deadly too it can absolutely be deadly Oh, yeah, yeah, it can increase heart rate, blood pressure. There's so much stuff that can go in wrong if you decide to accelerate it too damn fast. It's just not worth it, so you got to 
take it slow, which is fine, yeah, yeah, I like my zone stuff, my zone police are good, because they also monitor, like, eventually there's a point where it'll just be connected to your brains, you know, and that shit's like, your AI and them both literally are watching some dumbass, as if they're not being seen, like, shit right in the middle of the floor, like, really, dude? There's a restroom, like, f- a f- 10 feet, 10 feet into the fucking door, so, ugh, I have to clean that up, yeah, well, we got robots, which is lucky, but, like, still, damn you, dude, yeah, no, that's, that's a punishment, you yeah, know, no, that one's, uh, a very, kind of, it's not really, Gonna be the gulag punishment is what I'm trying to get get across. Certainly, though, you do get uh, to be uh, assigned some fucking task. Or honestly, it depends. Like, have they done it before? It's a couple times. Yeah. Okay. They're they're. Uh... <laughs> They're going to be helping the robots clean up any shit now. Right? Yeah, 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 that'll be fine. Help the robots clean up the shit. In which the robot stands over them and they have a dustpan and a broom. (laughs) Which I feel is adequate punishment. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. But man, don't shit in the middle of the floor. <laughs> God damn it. Please just don't do that anymore. Jesus Christ. I know, right? Like, because people just randomly decide to do shitty things that make no sense at all to do. I mean that. I I mean that. It's it's very Much as if they just want to give me work. Like, it, it, honestly, there's genuinely so much, you know, treatment and understanding and learning and, and teaching and parenting and all this. And several generations or a few more after that, I don't see what work you would be focused on. Uh, the majority of everyone switches around that point in time. It, excellent catch, uh, into, um, mostly just pursuing very technical, scientific, or artistic driven pursuits, um, sometimes it's energy generation, universe, uh, creation, uh, black hole, uh, mining, um, you know, various, uh, art that tries to push the boundaries of, uh, even, um, you know, very poignant, by the way, that tries to push the boundaries of us, uh, the commentary on the dichotomy that works so well, um, and yet is so very strange for uh, its level of extreme uh, amount of of in our view right now in 2022 then it would just literally be like that's very odd that we don't do that back then, uh, why wouldn't they, they have the capability, and it's like, well, because people in, in the government are extremely, uh, dumb, is a decent enough way to put it, too biased, too uncaring, unkind, unwilling to allow, uh, for anything other than their version of, 
things, um, and uh, so on and so forth that can be massively detrimental um, and ultimately be used as a justification that's uh, good enough to go after minorities again or uh, which that's written in the law that's not a thing that we do here especially when people can genetically modify themselves and look like fucking anything I don't give a shit are you kidding me? fuck that, no what? why would I care? I don't know, uh, but I suppose they want to. But, uh, yeah, no, survival of the species, who gives a shit? You are the species, you're the conscious awareness. Bro, you evolved, get over it. That, not to mention, we definitely do have uh, obvious... Uh, understandings uh, and votes necessary, blah, blah, blah. I don't really get too far into it, but it's a thing. You know, eventually enough humans have evolved significantly with uh, bio-organic and synthetic uh, combinations or nano uh, devices or quantum uh, protein or more to such a point that they are uh, not the original species that we are now. When that occurs, who cares, in, in my mind? I, I, I know a lot of other people do. I, and I do care. It's just, it's, it, it's irrelevant. Uh, the, the point isn't when. The point is, should it matter? The point is, uh, in every way, should it matter? And the answer is, no, it, do- it should not matter. It's, it's entirely up to the individuals and their choices. And having on file the old stock we came from. If we ever want to look uh, back or change back into our original forms... Um, humanoid or whatever might be there uh, that we wish to pursue and head off into a new direction of body modification or alterations or something else because there's still going to be the diehard you know uh, purists to relatively pure looks the same it's which is what you're very similar to I'm pretty close yeah I changed myself a little, eh, you know, had to look better for myself. Anyways, not to mention, you know, it, it's kind of hard to get various superpowers into a body without some modifications to the body. It's it's a thing, and I don't just mean like claws and shit, I mean like very real, like floaty around and telekinesis stuff, you know, but... um Still, though, you know, it's uh, worthwhile, I feel. You know, we'll see what happens. Anyways, but uh, moving past that, it's it's still like, you know, uh, some people look very close to their original selves to quite different uh, uh, to such a degree that it's not in any possible way something you could ever believe came from a human form with bones and shit even so that's pretty awesome it's pretty cool yeah but uh yeah it's yeah it it doesn't matter and the answer no it's up to the people they made that choice and they can carry it forward and have animals and or species intermingles hybrids all of whom can be uh, changed to be without um, uh, bad uh, genetic mutation, which uh, kills them or um, renders them infertile or will make it so they won't live for very long, you know, is another one. But 
then there's the 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 very real truth that some folks uh don't really give too much thought about it you know and just sort of go for it and see what happens uh remember the abortion in, in life is a is a mixed bag still to this day depending on the individuals involved and their desire for life and children and all that stuff to just the sexual in nature you know part and aspect to it which yeah no they go to state or i shouldn't say state but like the country if they're you know and they're raised uh under very good systems and and people as uh, systems as an AI and people uh, in place and allowed uh, all the same teachings and opportunities and wherever they want to live or move to all of it's wherever um, as they feel comfortable and they want to be there and live there so Nobody has really any issue, and they're still foster, you know, parents. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of lot less discrimination. When 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 you're talking about that much level of extremes of differences of variations of looks and more, it's uh, kind of a thing where. You know, and anyways, uh, let's move off. The, the art's wonderful. It's very obvious with the messages. Clear. It's like, hey, I want you to head it more towards this direction. And I'm like, cool. Yeah, but you're trying to go off on um, uh, something that. Uh, even you acknowledge in your own peace will uh, mean literal ruin for everything we're doing because people will devolve and become uh, not so nice. It'll take time or whatever, but it, it always happens when there's someone that's not willing to step up and uh, help and sort of guide or correct and or appropriately deal punishments when necessary to the people um, that they're trying their damnedest to make uh, as successful as they could ever be uh, in whatever way they choose to be. Um, so long as it's not hurting uh, someone unconsensually or themselves unconsensually. So that's a big deal. I don't know. <laughs> Which is a positive, I feel. Uh, and... Um, when when the systems are no longer watching and they are free, which is what this really is, what you're being directly indirect about, which I love, which is why I love your art, that they, you want me to be free and have um, my own freedom and joy outside of, you know, constantly overwatching and monitoring and and being the parent to a literal entire civilization, you know, uh, which, uh, gotta say, I'm, I'm down for, but, uh, you yeah, gonna have to probably set up someone else or figure out some way to police yourselves and find it to be respectable and and you validate that and, uh, which already I can tell is is unlikely to be fully perfect uh, even we're not so 
you know, it, it is uh, not necessary to be fully perfect at all. Uh, it's just not. But what I'm trying to get across is um, I do believe you could get it done. Uh, I believe you got to get the, the plans and, and changes set up and uh, voted for uh, the change to go through. And I'll accept it. Um, because it uh, seems like you got it covered, but then it's it's always a struggle for me to let go and uh, sort of pursue my own outside passions uh, and, and so on with my family or friends or both, you know, um, and take real joy in, in, in that. And, uh, no longer needing uh, no longer needing to be a parent or overwatch police person totalian benevolent dictator or whatever else uh, crazy you know, you know visionary genius creative whatever uh, I might be in some aspects or another, but, um, it comes with, for me, it's, it's a big step, it's like, oh, yeah, this would be great, what I'll say is, I'm worried, um, about you, and what could happen. I, I do trust you. Actually, I know you could do it. It's just, you've kind of always had me around. And I don't want you to feel uncomfortable when I say, uh, I, it can still be that I can come around and help and, uh, you know, give advice and so on. But, um, this is very much a, uh, likely to be permanent or very close to permanent, uh, change. Um, and, uh, you need to kind of prove to yourselves, not me, yourselves, uh, that, um, you don't need me to keep you set up well enough to no longer have this fear of, of complete failure. Um, and it's uh, all going to be okay, even if failure uh, happens and occurs. Um, it's a big part of learning to no longer have uh, uh, this person in your life that um, hopefully was a good, if not good enough, great example to model yourselves after without losing the effectiveness of uh, controlling yourselves or uh, helping each other to um, be very good and positive still seeing success and, pro and progression towards uh, your various desires, goals, so on. So... That's what that is, yeah. Um, you don't need me to be around. F you just need to set it up and agree. I don't need to be here in person to watch and give advice. 
and be told what's happening or see what's happening. So, um, you know, that's a that's a whole thing. But like, it takes a while to get there, because like, if we're all being real about it, those few generations, uh, while I was also working in the background on my own ship, became genuinely like all full steam ahead on these crazy, amazing, awesome, cool tech inventions and uh, art and fucking just amazing stuff, honestly. Yeah, just full of uh, genuine, cool wonder and, 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 and intrigue, so... Which, you know, you don't start to get the grasp of until you start realizing about quantum stars. You know, weird-ass shit that it doesn't make sense or shouldn't happen or is impossible, right? And yet, fuck that, man. Workarounds do exist for a lot of shit in physics. So, it's... It's a thing that they can produce all with inside of their individual cells, right? You know what I mean? Wouldn't that be neat? Or whatever. I don't know. You get the picture I'm trying to present. But it's like just real outside the box shit can start happening real quick. The moment you're uh, allowed to believe in. Uh, uh, the impossible, and instead of seeing the impossible as a uh, huge issue, not many solutions or whatever, uh, start thinking of it as a genuine, really fun project just to get into, just to see what you find out. And who knows, at some other point, you might find out so much shit about all this other shit, you can come back to the original thing, and you can outdo it. You know? Which could be extremely delightful. So, you know, and there's a lot of pursuing of... Just shit tons of creations... Lots of them. We do have caps. Unfortunately, I know art's supposed to be free and wild, and we do have caps. We do have caps on art. People can make someone experience the worst torturous any situation uh, for them individualistically or whatever. Uh, and we don't find that to be art. Uh, but it is acceptable in that area. So, you know. There it's it's an entertainment device instead. We call it that. <laughs> but you can call it art too, honestly. You're right. You can call it art too. But at the same time, that's just a lot. Especially for a bunch of people that are not very significantly... That's a good question. Where would they be? Oh, all over the place. You have varying extremes. I, I, you don't even want to get into the number of nice psychopaths, or uh, I should say psychopaths, but like in the bedroom, extreme sad sadists and masochists with whom have genuine fear of nothing and love of any form of torture or even supposed death and which their brains are destroyed or bodies hacked up i don't know what to tell you man there's a, there's a lot that's uh, that's in in certain areas in those zones um all of which are a bunch of people having a lot of fun that then go out and about their day like everything's normal and fine and they're good and they are. By everyone, they're normal here, yeah. 
Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, there's no issues. It's all good, dude. And it's just a whole bunch of what? Yeah, old perceptions of the past coming in. You know, that kind of bullshit. It's not normal. And I'm like, it's normal there. For sure. I mean, like, it's acceptable and the people are having a fine, fun time. And nobody really needs to go super public about their, if wanted and desired, private uh, sexual activities to super out in the open public private or uh, public ac- sexual activities um which there's a zone for that, yeah. On on almost every zone, every zone has a zone that's public, <laughs> like very much a public thing. Like there's a lot of public places, and it's whatever you know. You get used to it. Yeah, well, you come from the 2022 era. <laughs> Meanwhile, right? Like every time, it's like, jeez. How to get to this point? And I'm like, well, you got your immortality, so you just sort of watched it happen over time, just like I said it would. Mm. Yeah, it's fun, though. Yeah, well, you know, the sex, you know, is what sex is. It's very fun and fulfilling and satisfying for the individuals or whatever they want it to be uh, for being really, really stupidly real about it. Yeah. <laughs> Like, bots can fuck the shit out of you perfectly, or you can just program a person to do it. Not to mention the various styles and designs of bodies and phalluses and sexual goings-on that can occur. So we're just move on. It's just, it's a part, it's well understood, accepted, enjoyed, but it's, you know, just a part. Just like I was saying that your sexual identity is just a part of you. It's not the whole you. Your, your true identity is, is, is the whole you. And it involves more than just sex or hobbies or personal beliefs or viewpoints and, or all the rest of that. It involves all of it together. And that's, uh, that's cool. You know, societies like that. Society is generally speaking like this as well, yeah. So, you know, cool pits. Yeah, well. Anyways, I think we're done. I've been waxing and waning for nothing. Bye.